Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us or you're just signing on to this pay-per-view stream, you're watching the third annual Steinway Classic 2014. I'm Upstate Al. I'm going to step out of the booth for this one, but this amazing match that we have coming up is going to be another winner's side match between Sean Wilkie and George Rodriguez. The winner of this match will play Warren Campo for the hot seat. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Mikey Fingers and we're gonna have Eddie come in the booth. Mike, you know how to operate the controls. I'm gonna step out and give these guys the, the helm. So stand by as the two players are gonna warm up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Sean Wilkie's at the table. He's starting to warm up. He's playing George Rodriguez. Going to be a real good match. It's the other hot seat match right here. Warren Kiamko, I think, is already in the, in the finals on the winner's side. He beat uh, the, Evgeny the, uh, Stalev. He's in the finals on the B side. No. Warren, Warren, Kiamko? Warren Kiamko? Was he on the winner's side? He's on the winner's side. He's he was the other guy. Side. This is the okay. last match for the finals. Okay. So, uh... So this is the winner of this goes to the hot seat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Warren Kiamko is the other guy waiting in the hot seat already. Well, For the winner it is. Yeah, That's the hot seat, eh? Exactly. And we have uh, two guys who are playing real well. This is probably one of the strongest turnouts we've seen in this in this tournament. Yeah, big field, full 64 event, you know, four man field, 64 man field. Yeah. And they're all killers, man. They're all not killers. they're not like, you know, B players. And George Rodriguez. Uh, and who would expect the house boy to get this far. Well, George plays <laughs> real good. Yeah, he you know, plays, he real, plays good. real good. Yeah. And Sean Wilkie. Yeah, he's beat, playing real beat, good too. Beats Mika Eminem, the, right. you, you know, to get to get this far. I mean Well, he's playing real good. Yeah. And as I said before we started uh, commentating this talk with my friend Mike here you know he Sean Wilkie's a good friend of both of ours yeah with you Mikey he's more of a foe <laughs> you well, know like you you guys have really had some epic battles oh uh, yeah yeah we, know, we go at it at, at, uh, on the table and uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly uh, there's no overwhelming favorite when you two get at it because you know both know each other's games so well yeah yeah when we, when I was playing uh, you know I mean I would give I would I would say Wilkie would be the favorite but, you know, I can beat him any given day. Yeah. You know, I mean, well. he's staying with me for the week. Okay. When he comes up here for these events, he stays with me. Right. And I got a gold crown, three in my basement, double shim, some on 860. Yeah. And we go at it, and we I got uh, videos on YouTube of me and him going at it. Okay. Nine ball, ten ball, straight yeah. pool. And while he's here this week, I got news for you. We're going to be posting a few more videos. <laughs> that's, that's, that's part of the agreement. When he stays yeah. with me, he's got to buy pizza. For one, one day, he's got to buy pizza. And he's got to play some matches. Oh, that's great stuff. So That's great stuff. Yeah, hopefully at the end of the week we'll have a whole – because I'm on vacation too this week. Good. Hell yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to post a whole bunch of new stuff on uh, on my website. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, you know, I, I know. I remember from years ago how you told me, you know, Wilkie might get me in the, most of the tournaments, but ask him who the houseboy is at my house. Yeah. <laughs> Hell Yeah. <laughs> You don't always have to win at my place. I got a monster table. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you told me when you first set it up. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beauty. Well, yeah. you haven't, we haven't seen each other in a while. And yeah, I, it's, been, it's been, well, I haven't played a tournament in over a year and a half. Okay. November, November 4th, I think, and I actually I remember it like it was yesterday. 
because I beat uh, Jeremy Sose to get into fourth to play Deshane, and I kind of let him beat me. It was, uh, it was close, and I missed a nine. But uh, it would have been like five apiece, me breaking. I was playing real well as a Joss event, and it was the last event I played, November 4th, I think, 2012. And then I got back issues from work, and I uh, haven't really been able to play since. But uh, Well, you know, you're preaching to the choir, uh, yeah. like when it comes it, to back issues, because I just had to retire because of my back issues. So Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to exactly I'm trying to at. avoid that yeah. at all costs. And I can't do both. I can't play pool and my job. Correct. You know, Correct. because it's just too much on my back. So I'm not playing pool. That's, you know, like I said, you haven't seen me in a year and a half. Yeah. But uh, I got to get that pension you know once i can get that then i can talk about uh playing or not playing or doing whatever you know being more competitive on the pool table but i gotta get that pension oh uh, wilkie breaks the first rack i believe the one went into the corner nine ball nine, nine ball. ball went into yep. the corner oh, yeah, he's, got the a, he's got a little bit of a look on the one he's gonna see the right side of it a little bit but he might push out right here you got to try and figure out what he can do from here because i don't like the uh shot he's gonna you know thin the one and, and do what he's gonna run it to the eight yeah, he's going to have to push out somewhere where where George can't snooker him. Right. Or George will still probably snooker him, but... There's got to be a, a low percentage yeah, shot. Yeah, low percentage, a lower, yeah. much lower percentage shot. I don't think he can hit the one to get past the eight, so... And we have Snooky coming back on board with us. Yeah, he's going to push down to the end rail. Which is probably the right shot to do. Yeah. But again, from where he's at. Okay, I'm back. Hey, Snooky. Hey. Uh, Sean just broke and uh, came up, uh, made the nine ball, and pushed out. It's George's turn at the table. He's going to try to get him behind the eight, yeah. which is a natural angle. Yeah, good shot. That was the only bad thing about what Wilkie did. You know, right. he had no choice, really. He had no choice but to push out. Yeah, but at, at least he knew that if he didn't really lock up that cue to the eight, that he was going to get at least a decent kick to yeah, at least yeah. try to kick safe or do something. And that's what he's got now. He's got a one rail kick at it, one or two rails, past the ten. And uh, if it works out well, he's going to be on the two. You know, this shot, he, he, could, he could pay a heavy price with this shot, though. He's got to play it, you know. He's got to hit it pretty much with like a pocket speed type of thing. You can't just fly at it. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, he, you know, it's a good well, chance he, if, uh, Joe to get does, out. If he does cut this, uh, he could cut it. I mean, if he if he banks at this or tries to kick it, I mean, like you said, a, a pocket speed would probably give him a nice shot in return. Uh, that worked out okay. I mean, George yeah, has got a shot. He's got to cut at it, but there's only one play he's got. And he's got to let the cue ball run around. Right. So even though George has a shot at the one, there's no guarantee he's going to get out from here. Well, by the way George is looking at that shot, I think he's going to play safe. He's going to try to send the one back, right back where it is off the I, rail. I and think bring he's playing. He's going for it. He's playing for it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Good shot. Well, he good came shot. off the 10 pretty good, but. Well, he got in line. No, he oh. overstroked it no. a bit. Yeah, he overstroked. Well, now what he's going to do. I don't think he's going to play the 2 8. No, and if he does have any of that pocket, it's like half. He's looking, uh, he might have an actual ball space between there, but because the, the, the 8 is far enough away that he might be able to creep that ball past there. But remember, these are 4.5. Oh, are they? they, they these are 4.5, the others are 4 and 3 quarter. Okay. Yeah, they tightened them up from last year. Oh, Last I didn't year. know that. I, didn't yeah. I thought they were all four and three quarters this no, year. No, this, this, this one this is a little bit tighter. This table is four and a half. He called the safety. He called the safety, yeah. I think he was just going to thin the two and try and get him with the eight. Dangerous, because if he doesn't, he leaves him a shot. Oh, well, hopefully the four will come into play. Yeah, yeah see, he wanted to hit that. At the very least, the four should have got, you know, right. coverage. No, he's got a cross side bank. He might no, he's got the two. He's, he's got, got right in the side. In the side he's he might, yeah, if, if, yeah. He, if he. Oh, yeah, he's got it right in the side. Yeah. 
got a right side. He's going to come right back out to the center of the table for the three ball, which is in, in your lower left hand pocket. Excellent. Got to put a little mustard on this ball to get back up to the four. No. This is almost like a center ball shot with just a touch of left. Coming off the rail. Yeah, yeah. Natural, you don't really have to hit it that hard. Natural it's, angle it's, shot. It'll spin right, right up towards a little bit of low, and then just, uh, he decided to just punch it. It must have been straighter in. But, uh, yeah, the well, angle that we're looking at is a little uh, Different little than what they're, they're what they're seeing. Exactly. Well, that's what I thought when he, when I saw initially saw the shot, I thought it was a little bit too straight for him to come off right. naturally. But Ooh. oh, that was uncharacteristic of uh, Sean. Yes. Yeah. And George happily oh. accepts. Absolutely. First round jitters maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've been sitting on the side waiting because they, they they were told the match. The, the, their match was going to be played on this table, so they didn't put them on, on another table. I was just going to say that. They've been sitting for a bit. Yeah, they are. So they're a little cold. Now George is going to play the 7-10 combo. It's called the 10. George takes first game, one nothing. But that was some performance, uh, Snooky. That George, when George beat uh, Mike Deshane this morning, huh? I I wasn't here. I I didn't get to come early again. I had something to do this morning, so. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to come out. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to, to see that to match second. myself. Yeah, but I, but played, I did hear about it. Yeah, he played. He played real strong. Um, actually, I, I had never seen uh, Mike so surprised. He actually thought, you know, you can he, tell that he, he had the best of him. Or something. Well, he he just came into the match, I think, a little bit, you know, like we all get sometimes, a little overconfident. Yeah, I don't think he knew you who know. George was. I don't think he really has an understanding who Correct. George is. No, George they've, they've plays played before. They, they, he knows. They have he knows. History. But like I said, remember when I was telling you before that sometimes, uh, you know, on paper someone is the favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, doesn't mean that you can count somebody else out, you know. Look, no, at, uh, look at last night's match with John Mora and uh, Shane Van Bowen. Shane had him three zip. John came back, made it 3-3, three, three, and they, they were tying up the whole way, 4-4, four, 5-5, four, five, five, six, six, uh, all the way to Hill Hill. And so, you know, on paper, you expect a different turnout, but just, right. it's not always the case. Well, it always goes to the old adage that, you know, sometimes the heart wins. <laughs> you yeah. know? You know, George got a lot of heart. And, yes. Uh, I, I always say that about him. All right, George broke, didn't sink a ball, left Wilkie uh, kind of in a, in a tough spot because he's got to push out, but the one is so close to that corner pocket. I think what he's got to do is leave himself a kick. If he pl pushes towards where the 10 is, let's say, just past the 10, mm -hmm. and take his chances from there because you can't leave him a shot. That's exactly what it looks like he's going to do. Uh, who knows Push this kid's himself, name? Uh, Someone told you. Out to the Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you want a breath? Do I need one? I might need one. I don't one. know. Well, I'm not sitting next to you now. You got to let me know, Eddie. Yeah. I Do I need one? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> She's not going to know which guy to give the breath mint to. I, I, I was listening to that conversation before. I, I really didn't want to get involved. but <laughs> Yeah, you were, you were sitting close to me when that, all that was going on. Yeah, that's funny. I think just to play it safe, she's going to give us both a breath mint. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll knock out the maybe and the positive yeah. at the same time. Let me, there's let, no, there's let me take care of that now. I'm going to take the question mark completely off the table. And hand them both one. Would you like a breath mint? Oh, absolutely. I'll take two. How's that? <laughs> All right. Well, just to be sure now, because you are sitting next to me. Thank you. 
Would you like another one? Yeah, I ran out of the last one. Didn't <laughs> last that long. Yeah, well. All right. And, and he told me he didn't like cinnamon. It's like, wait, no. I don't know, but beggars can't be choosers, you know. Something's better than nothing. Yeah, take, no. <laughs> take what I can get. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the match here. A really, bit. though. George made a really good shot on the one. Yeah. He might be able to play the combo. The seven looks like it's off the rail yeah, enough. Yeah, he's, he's playing that. No, oh, no, he played, he played it right, it right in. Okay. Played it right in. All right, now he's going to have to play the combo. Not too bad. He'll have a shot in a three. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, this has to go pocket speed also for him True. to yeah. get in trouble. So. I just like playing this with just a touch of right. Just a touch. Nice. All right, yeah, he didn't have to come far off the rail. Yeah, he's no, good. He'll, he'll follow out. He'll follow the, the cue ball out to the yep. a little so bit past the center so of the table exactly. so he can get on the four. Now, George, obviously, being from this room, has the advantage of knowing the tables. And, but, you know, it is new cloth, and uh, it's it's uh, the Andy cloth. Wow. It's uh, different than the Simonis is used to also, so. Ooh, he didn't want to do that. Mm -mm. I think that was a mistake. No, I know that was a mistake, you know, but. Well, yeah. What do you think? He's going to play it safe here, send it between the numbers? Uh, I think so. And try I mean, to send he the cue ball up all, all the way well, up to the center I mean, of the table. Being terribly aggressive, he could swing around the table, but you know, I, mean, uh, no. I, I don't think that he's going to do. I that. don't think he can. I, I don't think he can swing around the table from here. The ten ball might be in the path. Now, can, if he could get above the ten, he's got a cut shot on the five. Yeah, if he puts uh, like yeah, if but he, he puts a little bit of, a little bit past the center of the cue ball, like he's doing now, a little bit right, he should get by the ten. There it goes. He tried to oh. break that up. Wow. Yeah, he had too wow. much cut to hold it, and he couldn't go around the table. I'm really surprised that he actually kind of played that that way. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't try to go with a little insight to, to, to kind of shorten the cut. Well, down. yeah, but he was right on the rail. You know, you can't really get Yeah, it's hard that to much. control it. You can, exactly. You can't really just do what you want when the cue's sitting on the rail. Well, the thing here now is that if Sean doesn't see a pocket, he's got the... Oh, it goes by the six. It goes by the six. Yeah, absolutely. He's got to move the nine a little bit. No, he just no, rolls straight not. up. He's just just roll, roll forward. Yeah, just like that. Okay. No no need to uh, to take a chance that he might bump it full and, and end up behind it. So it's a uh, pretty straight cut on the five it, to get to the six. What do you think? Two rails, Mike, comes around? I was just thinking, I, I kind of like back and forth. Left, yeah, two rails left English right. instead of going forward, three Correct. rails. Correct. Because if he goes three rails, then nine comes into play. No, two rails. Two rails. No, and three rails. Two rails. Three, three rails. Three rails. It was three. He hit the side yes. rail, yes. short side, rail, yeah. and the side rail came back out. Which is good. He played under the nine. But, you know, if you're going forward like that, three right. rails position, you are coming towards that nine. Yes. You and, know? and the other shot with the two rails going back and forth. You're kind of going between the nine and ten, kind of. Right. But, but, you know? But, but he up. got... Well, he could have he could have done the, the back and forth on, underneath, underneath. Exactly. And avoided hitting either ball. Yep. And he but, played it good. He knows what he's doing. But I'm going to tell you something, uh, Mikey. Uh, don't count too hard with Snooky because... You know, your mint supply might run low. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to Walgreens. I, I didn't make a mistake with the three rails. I was talking about the, the other two rails, shot. Don't get it twisted, okay? All right. I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't make no promises on Sunday, though. And Rodriguez returns a favor by making a mistake that... Cost you know, them. Cost them. Yep. The same thing that Wilkie did, and that's why we have a 1 1 game at this Exactly. Point. All right, we're going to see how Wilkie takes the rack apart. They've been breaking pretty good. Ten balls been going in, which is rare. And uh, Wilkie had mentioned before, I was talking to him about the rack. Uh, the ten ball isn't exactly 100% frozen whether it's the balls or the rack, or some of them, is, they're having a little bit of trouble mm -hmm. with the rack. Mm -hmm. Are they know? using the Delta rack? Yeah, I believe they are yeah, using yeah, the Delta are, rack. They are using Delta rack. 
but it could be a combination of any, anything. The, the balls could be a little worn. They, you know, they lose their roundness a little bit. Uh, the cloth is kind of brand new. Uh, and well, I, they just installed it this Somebody this was week. saying, yeah, that there's a little bit maybe of a, of a weave to, that, to the cloth, whereas if the ball's rolling, like when it's coming to a stop, it might wobble just a little bit based on the, the, the nap yeah. of the cloth. Right. Yeah, it's grabbing a little bit. But exactly. I'll tell you what, even uh, you get, uh, you know, set a set of balls, and, and sometimes they're even though they're the same brand, and some of them get swapped out with other sets. Exactly. Sometimes they're, they're I mean, we're talking about fractions. Yeah, but it still still, but plays, it still exactly. plays a part. Makes a big difference. Exactly. In, in, Correct. In, in, playability sometimes. Right. Yeah, when they're all supposed to be touching, if they're the same size, they're all going to touch. One's a little bit smaller, you're going to see it. Right. It'll rattle, you know. It won't, you won't get that tight, tight rack that you're looking for. But I noticed that, uh, I mean, you know, the sponsor, Andy Cloth, I, I actually took a good look and I came here earlier in the week when they had put one down in one of the tables or a couple of the tables. I thought the cloth played real good. Yeah, right. um, I agree. You know, um, but I also saw, like you said, uh, Mike and uh, Sean told me the same thing, that, um, you know, on, on certain angles, you have to hit the ball a little differently because the cloth just plays a little differently. Right, but once right. you Once you get used to it, it's fine. Right. You know, and it being, you know, when you get to this level, these guys adjust to it pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have to adjust or die. Yeah, exactly. You know, and these guys can adjust pretty good. Yeah, he kind of got out of position here. I don't think he can play it without scratching. He might be able to play it in the, side, in the corner without scratching, but he's got nothing on the five. Well, you don't think he can uh, thin it in the, in the side pocket, no, no. come down by the first diamond and come back up to the five? I really don't think yes, he can. Yes, but even getting back up there, he doesn't have much. Yeah, he's looking at the angle it's going to come out at right now if he plays it inside. He's going to play it safe. He's just going to roll up on it. No, I decided to punch it a little bit. And he made a mess of things. Mm -hmm. But he's not too bad, though, because, like I said, Again, the 5-6 is tied. Is tied up. Yeah. Exactly. And we can't tell from here if the 6 goes off the 5 in the corner, can we? No, uh, man, he I can't get to it anyway. He can't get to that. You know what I mean? You have to play the 5 off the ball. You've got to hit the 5 first, so 6 can't go. Uh, he can't carry him it. He's got an outside chance here going maybe three rails off this form, breaking it up. You're welcome. Booyah, I'm hitting lotto today. I'm going to get me a lotto ticket, baby. Yeah, Snooky, don't give him any more mints because he's actually waking up and <laughs> I'm calling I'm waking him up, right. baby. <laughs> Can't keep me down. Bad breath or no. Or no. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What, did, right. what did Al leave me with here? <laughs> Really? He left you with well, looky, entertainment. Well, Snooky, thank God I'm here to save the day. You know? All I right. Mean, really. Well, you're sitting between us now. So. Yeah, I'll intervene on your part, though. Okay. <laughs> Even though he's my friend also. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> he's the buffer. <laughs> oh, God. I'm the sponge. I'll take all the abuse. Oh, yeah. God. You're the peanut butter in the sandwich. Oh, yay, yay. All right. George played a good save, did what he could. You know, he broke it up. He couldn't, didn't have a shot. So he played a really good save, smart. He left Wilkie a little stuck here. He's got one rail kick. But the problem is once he hits it, he really has nothing to help save him. Yeah. You know what I mean? The seven is too far away. The nine and 10 are almost out of the picture. He's going to end up leaving George something. You know, well, whether uh, He's always going to leave him something. Well, yeah, but it, something he's... Something favorable. That's, that's what that's I mean, yeah. That. See, he's, he's going to, unless this rolls even further past the side... If he gets further, further now, you see? Oh, it's nice. on the side. A very low percentage shot of it coming out good for him in that, is that, in that position. It's hard to make some uh, calculated kicks sometimes, you know, when there's no blockers. Oh, exactly, exactly. It's tough. It's tough. You know, I showed Efren everything I know, and look what happened to him. Right, so I don't, I don't teach people no more of kicks and stuff. Really? I, he just took off. And Efren being a new player and all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Efren Philom Philomena. 
Yeah. Is there some kid? <laughs> yeah, some kid. <laughs> some kid down the block. Yeah. See, well, see, you gotta straighten him out. Efren McGillicuddy. He's, he's gonna let people think it's uh, Reyes, and then, you know. <laughs> It'll be anarchy. The here. same way you showed Bobby Blackmore. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know Blackmore. I don't know Bobby oh, Blackmore. Oh, you guys. I know a Bobby Blackheart. You know, there's, a, there's a lightning bolt that's going to rush through the ceiling. We now. had this conversation <laughs> ready today. We already had this conversation. I need to sit away from you. I don't want to get struck by that lightning no. bolt. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go outside now. Yeah. You go on your own. All right. We might come crashing through here. You know? Might. If oh I'm gonna God. get go, if I'm gonna get got, I'm gonna get got. Doesn't matter where <laughs> I'm at. You know what I mean? Ay, ay, ay. All right, George Rodriguez up two to one on Sean Wilkie. We are sitting here in Steinway Billiards, the story at Queens on Steinway Steinway Avenue. No, it's Steinway, Steinway Street. Steinway Street. Yes. Steinway Street. Perfect day for pool. If you guys are in New York. Jersey, Connecticut, anywhere near the tri-state area, you owe it to yourself to come down and watch this event. This As event and next week, you know, 14 oh, World 14.1. We have a straight pool tournament coming up this week, and uh, the best of the best are going to be here also. The top players on the planet. And if you've never watched straight pool, oh, it's, a, it's treat. a great it's, game it's to watch when you see these guys go on 100, 150 ball runs. Right. It's, uh, it's amazing. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, they don't want to watch the straight pool because they say, oh, I'm just watching them or hitting balls, hitting balls. And, you know, a true player will, uh, will appreciate how he got there, though. You know what I mean? Right. Is you're sitting there and it's like, every, you know, the room is dead silent. Everyone's running, you know, balls. And, uh, and, and some might say, I can't sit there and watch all that. Uh, yes, you can. Well, if you, if you really know what it takes to get, you know, when you're talking about – Every aspect of, of the game is involved in straight pool. When you're talking about combos and safety plays right. and things like that, I mean, you know, other than everything other than jump shots, you know. Well, the best analogy, yeah. the best analogy, Mike, that I have for the common fan to appreciate straight pools, I tell you, go to any pool hall, take four racks of balls. Don't even rack them up. Just throw the balls out there and try to make 60 balls in a row yeah. and see how far you get. Just not even breaking the balls and these guys do it having to break having to chip away having at the rack having yeah. to chip away at the rack and yeah, exactly. set up a break shot every rack and so it, it makes it once you understand that it makes it to much more amazing to see somebody run 10 or 12 racks in yeah. a row mm -hmm. last year appleton ran 200 and out on boosted to get into the finals never been done he broke three world records i think in that one one match yeah. amazing amazing I remember uh, a few years ago, I went down to the U.S. Open, and I'm walking into the pool, as I was telling Al yesterday, and I see my friend from Florida there, John Schmidt, just getting ready to practice. He says, yeah, Eddie, I'm just going to hit a few racks and see what happens. And <laughs> two and a half hours later, he was on a 419-ball run wow. on a diamond table. <laughs> wow, that's very impressive. Oh, yeah, Mr. 400. Mr. 400. Well, that and on a diamond. Yeah. Which is yeah, which, uh, just a uh, little bit harder. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Them four and a half inch pockets are not forgiving, that's for sure. They're not like these. <laughs> All right, George kind of made a mistake there running into the, uh, running into the 10. It's going to give Wilkie maybe another chance back at the table. He can play the six, but getting on the seven is going to be an issue. Yeah. I think the issue was pocketing it to uh, try to do he it. He asked too much for it, yeah. It's one of the things I try and teach people when I play, when I was teaching. Uh, you can't ask for too much, you know. You can ask. You well, don't always get You're not going to get it. It's like asking Santa Claus for, for everything. You know, you ask him too much, you're not going to get nothing. Is that the right reason I don't get it? That's maybe. Your, your shopping list is way too long. You just ask for three or four things, and that's it. But well, listen. She's a lady. She's entitled. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> She's entitled to be rejected. Don't reje try to hit me with the woman card. Okay? She's entitled to be rejected by Santa Claus, just like everybody else is. Okay. Listen, I sit on his lap every year. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe that's why you're not getting all your money. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, try, I, I, was, I, was I try to defend you, and he buries you. <laughs> I was having a sip of my juice and almost spat that out, so sorry. <clears throat> Maybe you got the wrong type of Santa Claus. I, I don't know, I, I guess. 
Mm, them guys at the mall, I don't know. Yeah, you got to watch out for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> okay. Some of them are the worst. Oh, just stay out of that side pocket. Good shot, Wilkie. Uh, I'm unfortunate to be stuck on the rail, but he'll take it. He'll take it, and he's got enough of an angle to come down. That's a cincher. Tank. It's natural. Even if he's on the rail, it's natural. Yeah, he just has to make the nine. The cue's going to come straight down towards the ten. Right. Pocket speed, just put the nine down, and that's it. Nothing overly complicated. Nope. It's just point. See? Well, now, if he, he shot thinned it, it too hard. He thinned it. You know, he didn't hit as much as he wanted. That's why he came perfect. past. He's still and got he got perfect. a good roll to get the 10 into the corner. Yeah. He shouldn't have a problem putting this down. Ties the match up to a piece. And he's breaking over George Rodriguez. Race to nine. Steinway. Oh, I had adjustment. Yeah. Am I am I breathing too heavy? <laughs> Scratch and sniff. What's well. going on over there? <laughs> yeah, you smelly fingers. <laughs> oh no! Snooky, do you have any uh, nose mint? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's nose mint. I got to nose mint, breath mints. I gotta get wipies over here. Some hand sanitizers. I like, was. <laughs> You know what? I can't sit further away from you guys. Ed, you're working on the wrong end, Ed. Oh, my God. You guys are terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this is not the PG version, okay, folks? <laughs> I didn't say you that. You paid your money. You're going to get a show. Oh, God. All right. We'll keep the break. I hope the folks at home are feeling sorry for me. <laughs> you're going to send your flowers. <laughs> Someone's going to walk over with a beer and hand <laughs> it to her. <laughs> I'm getting texts uh, Sympathy over here. That's why yeah. <laughs> people are texting Sorry me. Sorry for your loss cards. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, Wilkie comes up dry in the break. Yeah. George has got a clean shot at the one. He's got a combo, but he's going to play, play safe. safe. That's the Smart, right thing to do. Absolutely smart shot. That's the right thing to do. I Unless like the two that. goes in, then it's a big mistake. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right, Wilkie's got to play two rails. It looks like right. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll mess say this. I don't like that shot. He can also no, jump it too, though. He's got a clean two he rail. To, he's got uh, a clean Mike. two rail yeah. to, to the right long rail. Yeah, he might be going for the jump stick. He might because, be, yeah. Because he's got he enough. Can go in there. Yeah, he's got he's got enough there. Well, he's got enough firepower in his jump jump shot that I've seen him actually he's hold black. the cue ball up there. So he might be trying to. Hit the one, and send it down tail, there. and plant it up there behind that five. Yeah, he can. He's got yeah. the five and nine as blockers. The one's going to come back down table. Hopefully, it doesn't go in off the four. That's that's it's it's an option. You know, I mean, unfortunately, it could happen, but I think it's a, it's it's a good chance. It's a good shot he's going to play if he just if he decides to jump at it. Well, I don't know, Mike. I, I actually uh, think that the uh, in this case, the jump shot has got a higher percentage of getting a better result out of it than uh, a kick, would, would you say, Mike? Um, I want to disagree with you right there, to be honest with you. Uh, and the way I'm looking at that is because if he plays two rails past the eight, he's going to hit the right side of the one. That's what he's trying to do, to push the one towards the five and nine, and the cue's naturally going to come down this way. So he can leave distance. He can leave him stuck behind the five and the nine. The cue can get under here between the three, six, seven. There's a lot of good things that can happen. And if he gets the low side of the one, he's pushing the one up this way, and he could possibly leave the uh, the cue ball on that end of the table. So I think I think that's also a very uh, a high percentage of uh, you know coming out good. But you know his game better than I do. What, what do you think he has more confidence in? I say the jump shot at, in uh, the, at, at, at on this yeah, per personal. On this I think shot. so. Yeah, on this particular shot, right. yeah, the jump shot all the way. And he got yeah, a good got result a good out result. of it. He, he got it yes, behind it the worked very and, well. See, good things can happen. Pays to hit him, right? Mm -hmm. Now George is either going to have to jump it himself or come no, off, he can come give off it the rail. He can kick off the rail he's and, and go it, for the two, right? He's going to give it back. No, I think Wilkie. No, he, Wilkie played a safe. Oh, no, he might have played something. 
He played something. Are you oh, guys not he? watching the same thing I'm watching? No. Well, we didn't hear him <laughs> call it. So. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see him point <laughs> nothing. Point I didn't anything. So I, I didn't know what he, what he was calling. He played yeah. it. He played it. Where did he play it though? He played the jump bank. The bank. He played it. Yeah. You guys, you know, you sitting here scratch and sniff and not paying attention. No. <laughs> paying attention. I did my scratch and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> what's more important, woman? Yeah. You scratch, you sniffed, and well, then come on. Well, there he and goes he with the jump shot again. He's, he's playing the two this time. I think he, yeah, he's playing the two this time. All right. Well, he's saved again. George is going to give it back to him. Again. He's got no choice. He has to give he it back. He has to give it back to him. He's waiting for the opportunity there. Now, here's a good, a good opportunity for Wilkie if he can get lucky enough. If he can hit it good enough, the two ball has a very good chance of going. He can play the cue ball off the top of the one into the two. He can play the cue ball into the one, into the two. He can play rail two rails and kick well, the one off the ten into the two. He can come underneath the yeah, one but, but with the cue. He's looking at the other the he's other looking at the other side uh, of it. No, I don't like that. I don't like it either. There's <clears throat> too much traffic on that side of the table. Well, you got the ten in the way, too. I mean, he's got to get under it if that's the case. But yeah. at least if he kicked it to the right and, and – uh, you know, got got a good hit on it. He could possibly make that too. Well, but I, either I, way, he's got to call it. I think I mean, Mikey called it the right way on the left side of the table, but he's going opposite. He's going the other way. Yeah. He's going the other way. Uh, See, yeah. that's why yeah. I was yeah. worried about that's it. He happened. had to hit it underneath, and because the ten is in the way. So I, I mean, either he can shoot it exactly in the face or hit it underneath the way he did in scratch. See, if he plays that same shot the other way, the two goes in. Yes, you but know. he'd have to call that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I would have definitely called it too, yeah. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so many different ways that it can go in. It's a big, big percentage. And plus, from where you're at, you really don't have any other other option. Well, not only you know that, I mean? Mikey, when you pointed that, you know, if he hits off the one, the one's naturally going to hit the 10. So we would have had a shot on the one once it yeah. pocketed the two. Yeah, lots of different things, you know. Yeah, but, you know, we're sitting here calling the shots and everything. And sometimes, you know, when you're under that pressure and everybody's watching you, it's, it's a little different, isn't it? A little bit. Well, it's only yeah. what you're comfortable with. He, was, yeah. he felt more comfortable going for that kick that way. I'm, I'm pretty torn with these two in this match. George being my friend. Uh, they're both. And, and they're both good friends of mine. And, and, and yeah, and you know. uh, and and George being from this room and everything, and then uh, Sean, who's a friend of mine and and my fellow Lucchese teammate. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm I'm just I, I like I like either one. So. Well, you guys know who I'm rooting for. Not that I'm rooting against the other guy, but. I got the guy with the cue. How about that? You need to be more specific. No, that's pretty good right there. They both have cues. That's my point. So who are you rooting for again? The guy with the cue. Which one was he? Um, the one that's near the table. What table? This 37. <laughs> well, there you go. Come on. We can do this all day. Sure. Who's on first? Huh? Well. Who's on first? No. I don't know. You don't know who's on first? Uh, of course I do. You she scares me. Stop aging me. She scares me. Stop aging, aging me. you. Come on. Yes, Abbott and Costello. Oh, yes, there I you know. go. Come on, I know who that is. Oh, we missed. Oh, wow. Big plus for Wilkie right I there. I used to watch that every Saturday. Yeah, me too. Ball in hand. No, no, not ball in hand. No, he had ball no, no, in no, hand no. and he. We oh, had ball in hand on the one, yeah. Oh, yeah. One and, uh, he came off the two a little funny and got past the three. Puts Wilkie back in the driver's seat. You've got a chance here to go up one. Still early in the match, but, you know, you want to take advantage. You've got to take advantage of stuff like this because if it happens to you later on where you make a mistake, you don't want to have the other guy come back and beat you. Yeah, and that uh, that almost happened. To, uh, were you here yesterday? No, I wasn't. Uh, that almost happened to Wilkie yesterday. He had a match against Michael Yednick. And um, he was winning 7-3. And, you know, he got a little lackadaisical there just for one shot or so. And the next thing you know, it was 7-7. And then Michael Yednek was on the hill, 8-7. Wow. And um, actually missed 
of an easy nine ball, which ultimately cost him the match. And right. that's how uh, Sean squeaked by. But when he came out today, he came out on fire against uh, Guns Mika. Blazing. Guns right. blazing against yeah. Mika. He played real strong. He had him 8 3 at one point. Well, it looks like he's taking full advantage of uh, George's mistake to take a 3 2 lead. Right, there you go. Wilkie's now up on George, 3 to 2. Race to nine. Winner side. Oh, yeah. yeah, Wilkie's playing real well. And I'm sure uh, he's appreciative of it, and he wants to give a shout-out to his sponsors, probably. He's, uh, Lukasi Hybrid is one of his sponsors. He shoots with Lukasi Hybrid, and uh, Q-Pod is another one. Wild Eyes Creations helps him out, and along with uh, Q-Shark, too, I believe. And I probably got a couple other ones that I'm not familiar with. Yeah, and George. I haven't seen him in a year or so, but. And George is... Uh Sponsored by Steinway Billiards in Gotham City, I believe. Right. Um, I don't know if he has a Q sponsorship, but I know that he he's sponsored by Steinway, right? Right. So I think he, so, yeah. You would know, right? Yeah. And then again, we have to thank our sponsors, Andy Cloth and the people who are putting on this prestigious event, Predator. Um probably one of the strongest fields ever and uh, it's growing and uh, I was just speaking to the owner Manny a little while ago and uh, the way it looks if right sponsorship comes in which it's supposed to come in even stronger the next year they're probably going to go to a 128 man field in a three day event that's great well yeah that's fantastic Now, don't get me wrong. I love traveling to go see tournaments like this, but I so so very much wanted to have that back in New York too. You know, it's, yeah, there's no reason why we can't have it here with such great players that we have coming in. Even it, even if it's not just the ones that are here already, the great players we have in New York, but people who come to New York, who who do travel up here, even for for non-tournament reasons. Um, that, that come into town to seek the action and things like that. So I, th I just think it's fantastic. Oh, it's great. I mean, as you know, Snooky, I, when I came back to start playing again after five-year layoff, where did you see me? I came here mm -hmm. because this is where the toughest players are. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I would run into um, Mr. Mike over here, but uh, he had a back injury of his yeah. own. <laughs> Didn't we? Because we, we played to, the first he, day you came, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we like, did. In the tournament? We did, and, and you <laughs> tore me up. I'm not oh, going to lie. No. Okay. <laughs> it's a whole new meaning to a handicap tournament. <laughs> hey, we played straight it's up. Injuries. <laughs> we played straight up, by the way, but that's not the reason why I brought that up. I'm just saying no. that I remember that you yeah. pretty much this day that you came uh, out. He just one-stroked it, and he came up way short on the six. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, he just punched the ball. Didn't exactly. He, he yeah. just could have rolled forward a little bit. I had the cut on the six, and the eight's right there. He played a bad shot there. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I saw him against Yednik yesterday, and the score was 8 7. And he snookered himself behind the ball just like this. That's And that's don't, don't ask me how he did it, but he kicked it in perfectly. He called a shot, and he kicked it in. So now he's going to try to jump it in the side pocket. Yeah, I think this will go. I think he's, uh, this is a pretty simple shot. Popped yep. it right in. Great shot. Stop the cue ball. Natural position on the eight. Yep. Going to come down for the nine, and it looks like Mr. Wilkie is in for a 4-2 lead. Yeah. Yeah, Snooky. so getting back to this thing about, you know, having the thing here, I, I just think it's awesome. I mean, I myself... He overhit that one. He's going to have to go three rails, I think. Yeah. If he wants to hold it with inside. And yes, he does. Yeah. Boy, you know his game real well. Yeah. 
But look at the position he's got. He's perfect. Yep. Yeah, as I was saying, Snooky, it's just wonderful to have stuff here in New York. Even me, I live, you know, in central Jersey, and I make the trek up here at least once or twice a week with my injuries. It doesn't matter to me because I know I'm not going to see Ooh, you. Ooh, rattle that one. Oh. In. That one wiped his feet. Yeah. Wiped its feet, took off its shoes, hung up the hat and gloves, and <laughs> made an made a episode of it, but it went in, though. So when do you think you'll start playing again, Mike? Well, I, I'm How playing. Are you feeling? I'm, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. Thank you. Uh, I'm playing now, actually, but I can't commit to playing eight hours a day to get back to the level I was at to compete against these guys. I just can't do it. You're still driving the truck? Still, yeah, still UPS. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I have to stay there. That's more important Absolutely. right now. So I have to. I can't do both, unfortunately. You know, I'd love to, but I, I don't, I'm afraid to try it. I'm afraid to push the back too much. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just kind of stay away a little bit, and I get my job done, and I'm trying to get closer to that pension. How many, how many more years? Uh, maybe a year go? and a half. Oh, that's okay. You know, maybe two years at the most. Was it a job-related? Yeah, it's absolutely job-related. Did, did you do a workman's comp? Yeah, absolutely. I'm out. Yes, absolutely. But okay. uh, I'm trying not to go out on comp because okay. I'd lose like uh, 700 bucks a month or something from the regular pension type for, of thing. For, the, for just that year and a half that you have left? No, because I wouldn't get the full pension. Right, it so would be for reduced, just that year yeah. and a half, it yeah. would be reduced that much. Yeah, yeah, because wow. I'm not 55. I won't be 55. Right. So, no. Breathman? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 I don't think a Breathman's going to cure that. You, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> You know, she was waiting in the wings. Oh, yeah, she, had, <laughs> she was waiting for something. You left them wide open. Are you kidding that's me? That's true. That's you true. Left them wide that's open. True. I get it. I'm that's the youngest true. one here, so. <laughs> it's my fault. I brought him to the helm. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, seriously. Yeah, how she old served you? me up. I'll be 46 Friday. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, happy birthday if I don't see oh, you. Thank you very much. 46, yeah. And you? Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. Uh, I stopped counting at 25. No, no, stop how it. do I look? Stop it! Stop it! I'll be fifty-seven. Nice. In you you don't look Did you know? Do you notice how he said that? He said, "I'll be fifty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> so he wanted to stop at fifty, and yeah. he just went, "Oh, seven. So. That, I like that technique. I'm gonna have to use that. Yeah. You, you say be, the last number real softly. I'll be twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't say that. Well, I'm 41 in 72 months. <laughs> if that helps. You sick. Well, you know. You sick. Keep the people guessing. That's all. Oh yeah, they can't do the math. You oh, just clearly told Oh, cuts in a nice ball. Yeah, he made a good cut shot there. He spun that right in. He's good on the two. Good he's got to. He's, he's, he's yeah. He's got to be. He's got to be careful now with the three. He might have. He might end up having to play the 3A combo. I don't know. He was looking to see if it fit in between the, the, the three and the eight in the side. Uh, no. Oh, well, you see it from here. You can see it. You can see it. Yeah, I don't think it fits. Well, Doesn't it, fit. It might go off the four. Well, let's see what he does. I mean, he I might, got, he I got might this just straighten it up so it can come right down into the corner and play something else on the four. Oh. He was yeah. very tentative about uh, it because uh, it was uh. the position was too hard. Yeah. It was very tentative with the stroke, you know, to get on to on the three. And uh, well, let's face it, it. I, I think for the first time, as as these guys have made mistakes to give each other, you know, racks so far this match, um, this one's a tough run out. Yeah. Probably the toughest layout that we've seen so far. Would right. you say? Yeah, right. I yeah. agree. I agree. I think he's got to go into the eight right here. Or if he's going to play the four. Oh, you mean draw up the three? Yeah, he's just going to kiss right into the eight. Yeah. And he makes the eight. Yep. Yeah, he tried to punch it low because he couldn't get above it. What's he going to do here to get back to that six, Mikey? What do you think, Seth? I think he's going to shoot it. Yeah, uh, but how? How? What's he's he going to do to get back to that six? You guys don't get my sarcasm, do you? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> What's 
Uh-huh. Well, well, we're purists. Yeah, we're pure. yeah, we need to <laughs> oh, you haven't been pure in <laughs> 40 years. What are you kidding me? You need to be better with the sarcasm for us to get it. <laughs> we're, we're a little advanced. Purist. We need advanced sarcasm. Uh, what? You can't get it either way. So. <laughs> Was that an age thing? <laughs> <laughs> You said it. I didn't, I'm not disagreeing. Well, she hands me an Altoid before she says it's Viagra. I didn't say that. I, say, I, I said didn't it's, say I, that. They're blue. <laughs> they're oh blue. God. Okay. They're blue. Pills you have a red. <laughs> you want what the red pill? What or color? The blue pill? Right, so what color is Cialis? Vialis? I don't know. Cialis. Cialis. What the hell is a Cialis? Oh God. It's the one that you take, I guess. I don't take that. Stop it. Damn, she's got all this PI about you. <laughs> You don't got too much because a lot of it's wrong, apparently. But uh-huh. gonna pay the detective a little extra, I think. Well, listen, he George, shot it. George right softly in. plays the uh, five into the side. Obviously, he feels he's got enough sight, sight line on the six to make it. If he makes this shot, should pr- be rewarded because it should I come off naturally off the rail and push the seven towards the other side. That so that could that could yeah. ruin it for him. Uh, I was gonna say because if it comes is. off the seven, yeah. And like you said, it pushed way. it right towards it, and it, yeah. it didn't have to work out well, and it didn't. Well, well, fortunately for him, he can still see the edge of it. So, yeah. you know, and he's got the two blockers. Well, let's see how he hits this ball. He plays the snooker safe. He's going to bank the seven up table That's and try and come I'm one or two course. rails under the. Uh, of course. That would be my the, safe, uh, too. He might, he might uh, if he hits it harder, he can go maybe three rails towards the 10. The yeah, way I'm looking could. at it, it looks like it's a natural angle that way, plus the seven will go farther up table. Right. But even if he just puts it on the short rail, and, and both balls on the short rail, he's good. He's well, played by, a good the, shot. by the look on his face, though, he's not too confident about that shot. Well, he might not see him enough of it to do it. So yeah, if he hits that's it too thin, too. all he's going to do is cut it towards the, the corner pocket. Oh. So he has to you hit You think he as can thin it and just leave the seven down here and send the cue back up table? No, see, that's the, sh- that's the that's shot. That's the shot. That's right. the that's shot. shot. Yep. He just. Straight. Uh, yeah, but he's given, he's not up there as much as he'd like to be. Yeah, he couldn't see enough of the ball. Right. To make that an easier attempt. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that is the safe that yeah. I would have played. I would have yeah. tried to put him all the way up on the, uh, up on the rail as much as I could. And, uh, and leave this cue ball down here. Even if he can see it, he still had a hard shot. But, but. Uh, he's, he has enough distance to actually cut this ball in. So. Yeah, he's got to play it in the right-hand corner pocket, and he's going to play two rails, maybe three, to get down to the end rail where he's at now. Would accuse that now to play the nine in the side pocket. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only shot he has. Only feasible shot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he can maybe cut it to the left corner pocket, with the, not like inside, but a high ball, mm-hmm. and come four rails back up to where the side rail he's at now, you know what I'm saying? If right. you go short rail, long rail, short rail, long rail, to play the nine past the ten, that's an option too. Well, you know his game, Mikey. What do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to play it in the upper right-hand corner. It's a more natural shot. Yeah, him, isn't it? you don't have to do anything with the cube. Basically, it'll come rolling on its own down towards where it needs to be. The hint of inside. I like it a little. That's what he's doing. So he hit it with a little inside. He hit it good. Hit it good. He's rolling. Hit it he's great. Come for the side pocket. Hit it great. Yep. Good shot. Great shot. I think he has enough to make it in the side pocket. Oh yeah. The is only problem is if he's dead straight. Yeah, it's going to be huge for him because if he gets out here, it's a five-two lead. Yeah, just enough angle to push away from the 10. John Wolfe takes a 5-2 lead. Yeah, he's starting to take command of this set. Over George. Race to nine. And he's taking command by just making some tough outs, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. He just stays focused, and he does what the table tells him. You know, he, he knows how to listen to the table. And that's another thing I tell people a lot. You know, you have to listen. The table is going to tell you how to play. It really does. You know, and if you can understand what it's saying, 
and do what it's telling you to do. Do you speak table? I absolutely do. You should try it sometime. I, I speak to anything. <laughs> I heard that about you. Hey, 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 hey. The key word being speak. No, the key word was anything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to have an X-rated show for you guys. So. No, we are not. <laughs> It's called. I'm teasing. It's called. It's called we're Snooki off the air. talks to anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Is that after the red pill? <laughs> or or the, the blue or pill? The blue pill. <laughs> I don't require either. Thank you. All right, Wilkie made a good break. He put a ball down. He's got a little bit of congestion down here, and he can't see the one. He's gonna have to push out. He's probably Again. gonna push over here down to the. He's looking at the push out from up here. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about that is that he's going to have to thin the one so much to not get scratch. stuck by the four. No, yeah. he can't. He won't scratch. But I don't. I don't think that's the best option that he has. You know, he's limited in what he can do right now. You know, he's looking for that. That's it's an option. But George is, would be in a good spot to to get him back. I like that. Yep. I like that. You see now. You can see the one. He's over the ball, though. It's, he's got. George is going to give it right back to him. Well, that's, yeah, but it's not, it, you no, know, he's not. I, I would say. It sure, he's I not. don't think he's. I don't, he might not. I know. He might but not. I, know I mean, I, if, I think if he sees. I don't know how how much in the way that nine the five ball. Five ball is. That nine ball was. That's what I didn't know. Because he's got about two inches from those. Uh, five well, and three. one thing I know that Sean's pretty good at a, a jacking up and, and, and thinning these balls. I don't know if it's because of his height. Mikey, what do you think? Well, no, he's not really that tall. I, don't think no, I didn't the, say I don't as far height. as the height, but I think as far as his ability to hit jack up shots for safety, I've seen him hit them pretty good. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, yeah, some, yeah. some people are good at that yep. naturally. They got a knack for it. Right. right. And, and I think uh, Sean has just a natural knack for that because I've seen him do it so many times. I think he's going to play safe. Bank the one across up to the short rail. Yeah. Almost over, over cut yeah, it, cut you it. know, because it had to be real thin. Right. See? And I think he got away with it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know if he can see he, the Yeah, one. he might He might he, be able to he see might be the edge. He might clip the right side of this, and he's going to say, play the same exact save. He's going to just brush it over yep. and bring the cue ball down just like that. See, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, and This would be real good if he gets under the three. Oh, yeah, and he wow. did. Wow. And he did, but he gave him enough angle to come up just right. short of the side and get to that one. Right, right. Yeah, he's, he's in a bit of a spot here. But I think if he can hit this ball of pocket speed, a little bit above pocket speed, he can get a pretty decent roll off that one. I think he's going to try three rails, though, the way he's looking at it. What do you think? Uh, I don't see three rails. Where do you see three I rails? I see two. Two. I'm sorry, not three, two. I, I see the two rail shots. You forgot to carry the one. Absolutely. Well, you know, you and Mike got me going with these numbers. <laughs> hey, I know my numbers. I think if he tries to kick at it, he's going to have to play at one rail. Because in order to go two rails, he needs to aim right through to seven ball almost. And, and we don't know. Uh, it looks like he can get through there. But if he doesn't, he's got to go just under the 710 and, and spin it out. Or, I mean, it's it's... It's tough. It's too tough that way. I don't know. He can see the two rails. He might be able to see he it, yeah. He sees the two rails. See? All right. I wasn't sure if he could see it. Oh, that looked out. Oh, that wow. Looked really, that turned out real nice. Wow. Yes, it did. Yes, we're it go, did. We're going in the air. Yep. George has got to go airbound for this. I don't think he can see the edge of the one. We got a jumper. He's got to take out the rock hopper. And honestly, for both players to get this far is great for this tournament. But, you know, I don't know if George, with the people that he's played and he's beat, you know, when so far in the tournament that he's played somebody as tactical as, as Sean. Uh, you think well, that, that, that plays a little bit more deliberate tactical when he has to? 
Well, I might agree. I might agree with you because I think the, the players that he's playing are uh, they're quite offensive. Correct. Um, they play kind of like he does, where he's he's. Uh, I mean, he'll he'll more play aggressive, the, yeah, more he's aggressive, more aggressive type of players, right. yeah. And uh, so now he's in a position where he, he has to be a little more deliberate and think about what he's going to do or or what if he plays a push out what, what exactly he wants to leave Sean and you know so so he has to think just a little bit more with him um, just to figure him out a little you know? yeah well because he has to play Mike DeShane and we know Mike DeShane's a great player but he's also very aggressive yeah well, I don't count out my teammate too he plays good no I know about? George <laughs> plays aggressive no also. I'm talking about uh, Sean oh absolutely so. absolutely uh, I, like I said before, I'm, I'm torn between. Uh, I can't cheer for either one of them. I mean, but Mike and I the, any more than the other. I, yeah, I, but, I, but but Mike and I know Sean's game, and Sean can be. He's more tactical than he is aggressive. Right. Don't you agree with that, Mike? No, but he. I've, well, seen, I've seen Sean get quite aggressive. Uh, yeah. That, that shot was a perfect example of it, where he shot that the way he did. Um, but yeah, he is. He is a little more meticulous. You see him swing around the table, uh, kind of analyzes angles and things like that. You know. Whereas George might have been shooting this ball already. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Sean, see how Sean is thinking about what he's doing. Um, well, sometimes if there's one negative thing I can say about Sean's game, and there really isn't, but if, if there's one thing I can say, sometimes I think he overanalyzes stuff. He'll get put into a situation where it's not natural. It's not a hanger. He's got to maybe think about something for a second, but he'll over, over kind of work it a little bit. I've noticed that about him a little bit over the years. Situations where he just has to finesse a little bit and he overdoes it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, instead of trying to finesse or slow roll something, because he Correct. doesn't like to roll balls. He Correct. doesn't like to slow roll. Correct. He'll maybe jack up and try and draw two or three rails as opposed to just trying to slow roll something. Mm -hmm. He wants to be more in control mm -hmm. of the shot. And I think a lot of times it might be a little detrimental, you know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Well. See, I, yes, ma'am. I quieted him down with that one. See that one? I just, I guess that one He's right like searching. Over my head. What's up on the ceiling? What are you looking up there for? Ladies and gentlemen. Answers. <laughs> they're gonna fall from the tiles. Up they top? gotta fall from somewhere. Cause La it's ladies and gentlemen, for once in t for once today, this afternoon in this match, I'm speechless. <laughs> Miss Snooky has put Mikey in a <laughs> verbal coma. In a verbal coma. Nobody. The air, the, the air just left the building. <laughs> All right. You guys you see, are crazy. <laughs> you see, now I, I don't agree with what happened here. He could have just drew that back and got better shape on the well, six. I, I That's exactly what you. I thought he was going to do. And, and he, he might have to go in to the 10 here. He's definitely going to cut the six. Oh, yeah. yeah. Overcut it. Oh, just enough. Yeah, just Perfect. enough. Now he got the. Uh, now he's got a. Cut the seven into the same into no. the other corner. What do you think? No, I don't like that. But then again, he doesn't really like he to might play have, safety he too might, much. He might have that corner shot. I, he's calling it. I, I I think he has it. Oh wow! I think it's out just uh, enough. Just enough that he can get enough ball to get up there, and, right? Uh, yeah, and if he bumps the ten, he's only bumping it towards the the nine if he has to do that. Nice. Well, nice I didn't shot. think you could see nice it. Nice shot. Yeah, I didn't na, think na, you could na, get na, enough na, of it either. You yes, sir. Thank Where you. would we be without Snookalicious? Right? I have, the world <laughs> may never know the answer I'd, to that. Well, like, how many <laughs> licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> I'm the world leave may never know. That one alone, too. You guys, potty mouth. I talked about a lollipop. What did I say? Tootsie Pop. What the people don't see was your gestures. I didn't gesture nothing. Look at it. Don't give me that innocent halo. Your halo got a crack in it. It's <laughs> dirty, too. Oh, oh, God. He bobbled the ball. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he left the, that was a good. The ball. That was a good. Uh, After working so hard to get to that nine ball. A good chance for him to put the heat on George. Now he's going to give George a little breathing room if he can get this uh, you make this and you, get out. You tootsied my teammate out of the shot. He almost tootsied himself right in the side pocket. There you go. Five, All right. three. 
We still got a game, folks. That was a gift that I'm sure Wilkie did not want to give out, but. And Doris is going to take Of course, I knew that was coming. I think it's, he should have. I just think it's a move right now. It is, it is. And, it this, is. and, and now George is getting a little tactical to slow him down. Again. Well, not only that, but kind of like uh, let him think about that miss. Exactly. Let's sit exactly. on that miss a little bit. You know? let him try to let him stew on it. Yeah, you're going to let it boil over a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I don't players know at this saying. caliber won't allow that to eat at them, but a lot of times people do. You take a break, the guy missed, let him sit there and think about his well, miss for five I minutes. Mean, looking I've at seen that backfire, though. Exactly. You know well, saying? exactly. Well, looking, at, looking at Sean's body language right now, he's not feeling too good about that shot. Uh, no. Especially from what he did to get out. And there you see uh, Sean. Yeah. A little dejected. But hey, we got Tony Robles Tony in the Tony Robles. Tony Robles in the house. And uh, the Bringing plaques. the first and second place plaques for the tournament. Or glass trophies, actually. Yeah. You can't let that eat at him. He's playing real good. He's playing real strong. He's going to miss. Everyone's going to miss, you know, but you just can't let it eat at you. Can't let it take over. Well, let, let's, let's not face, uh, let's not forget the importance of this match. This is a match to see, you know, right. who goes up in the hot seat against Warren Kiyanka. Yeah. Right? So. Well, I mean, like I said, this is, uh, you know, this is a tactical move. It's, it's a smart move, like George. Uh, it is smart. Reliving right now. Um, you know what I mean? It's like he got an opportunity uh, to see, you know, that, that Sean missed, and now he wants to capitalize. You know what I mean? He go take a break, come back, reboot, you know, whatever it is that he has to do, uh, and show that he's still in this match. You right. know what I mean? So now instead of a three-game lead, it's two-game lead, you know, and uh, you start chipping away at, at Actually, set. actually, instead of a four-game lead, it's a two well, game I'm sorry. Lead, after yeah. uh, actually a, a four-game, yeah, that was right. a big swing. That was a big swing. Absolutely. So that that game was huge. Yeah, to work that hard, to kind of, you know, dog the nine ball a little bit, which was not a hard shot. Right. Didn't have to do a lot with the cue, if anything. Right. You know, that's that's what's upsetting. But we'll see what he can do. See if he can remain his, uh, or, you know, can retain his composure. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, like I said, it either works for you or works against you. You know, because uh, George could could very well be, like I said, rebooting right now. Says, okay, I'm still in this match, uh, and and let him time to recognize that. But at the same time, you're giving your opponent time to get over that miss. Yeah, also. exactly. I mean, you want to let him stew on it, but you also like if you take. You know, it depend, you depending on the player, because he's very, he's very capable of just getting over it. They go, okay, well, now we'll start again. You know? Right, right. If it doesn't affect um, him, if it doesn't affect Wilkie, it's right. a mistake and, on and George's then, part. And then the fact is that Wilkie is still up in, yeah, this, exactly. in this set. So, uh, see, if you see him now, he's like chit-chatting with somebody. His demeanor changed uh, from what it was uh, just a minute ago. You know, so now he's, see, he's sat there. Now not George is not coming, looking down. Now not, George you know what is I'm coming saying? back after getting himself. Some and uh, uh, if you notice his body language, he's sitting straight up now. See, when George walked away, he kind of sat back and and was doing like you said on that shot. But uh, you know now he's uh, yeah, it's over. It's and over. And somebody, uh, one of his friends, came over. And That's what I'm saying. Talk, right. So, uh, let's see what happens this game, ladies and gentlemen. It's now five three. I gotta tell you what to do. And it's a rack your own format. Call yep. safety, call shot. Did you see that? Yes, he's waving at you. He's giving you the wave. I'm gonna wave at him too. <laughs> Trying to tell us she's number one. You're number two. All right, this reminder, players. 
All right. Players meeting for the World Straight Pool Championships. We are back in action, folks. So we're just looking over the rack. PM all players and pass that message on as well. And we'll be doing the player auction top cut up for the World Straight Pool Championships immediately after the players meeting. So roughly around 8 o'clock, players meeting, and around 8.30, hopefully, we'll do the players top cut up. We have announcements in the background. If you guys are wondering what's going on there. And how many players are actually left in the tournament? Good question. Can't be too many. Five or six. You got I'm these two, you got Kiamko, you got wondering, Hatch. Wondering, but he's playing now, I think. I'm wondering who won the Mike Davis uh, John Mora match. Oh, no, I don't know. I know I was Jason sitting in that little corner so I couldn't see. I, I saw that John was playing, but I couldn't like I'm um, behind this wall and I couldn't see it. All right, let's see if George's break pays off for him. See if he gets the desired effect he was looking for. Very powerful break. Nothing went in. Nothing went in. And actually, Sean Wilkie actually has a shot at the one. I, He's did got he a, made a ball? Oh, he did oh, make he a ball, okay. A ball. Got a shot on the one. All right. I like I like playing. Ball. Are you guys not watching? I I I, you, I like yeah, he's gonna bank the one out of the way and get under underneath yes, the eight. Yes, I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's a very good shot because uh, a lot of congestion down by the one. Look, he's got to play a one rail shot. I believe he might be able to come three rails, sneak in there, but I think his best bet's gonna be. Uh, one rail. One rail. And again, it's a small ball, too. One rail. It's a small ball, Mike, but the payoff is that if he hits it, he can, he can, he's got a blocker with the five. Yeah, he should. He might, be able to, he might be able to get stuck behind the five. A lot of good things can happen if he hits it. Do you know if he, uh, what kind of system he uses for... Uh, no. For when he measures his kicks? No, I do not. So I know some, as you and I both know, some players are methodical. They have certain systems right. that they uh, use. To Hit the four, tied up everything now. He very fortunate that he did. Um, well, yes and no. I yeah. mean, the, the, he had the possible combo, but he's got a safety opportunity here. Yeah, you might Locked see George. You might see George get him on three here if he plays the one past the side, two I rails up by the eight, two. I like him putting it up there too. You know, now he's going to leave the cue under here if he gets up under the five. It's almost an impossible hit. Plus, he's got a good chance to get him on three because the one will be up there with the congestion. You know, about a two and the eight. So this could be a good shot right here for George to get another game under his belt. Yeah. See, the only thing I don't like there is they didn't hit it hard enough. He could have pushed the one up, you know, closer he, to the two he, and eight. He yeah, could have, but, but, but he hooked look, he hooked him between the, fi the, the five and the Look at the, the 10 ball looming in the corner pocket. If he doesn't hit this one, he can make the one ten combo. After yeah, but uh, mean, he'll, it, probably probably right he'll probably right. play that. He'll probably play that. I agree. Maybe that's what he was looking at as opposed to could've, laying could've it up been, there. Could have been. Could have been. I just think he wanted to make sure he nestled in, in between that three yeah, and five. Yeah, gonna Wilkie's just going to move the seven in front of the ten. He's Let's knocked the ten out of. He's going to have to push right. the ten out. He's going to have to yeah. knock it out of there and let George try and run the rack out. Right. Or save him again. Which. Which is a, yeah, but it's a little bit harder hard, for him right. to get him on a lockout save right, this right. time. Then, you know. Yeah, the seven will be gone. He's going to make the one and two relatively easy enough. And Snooky, I actually uh, agree with Mike on this one that he. Uh, yeah, see that. Yeah. He, wow. I think he shot that too quick. Yes, he did. I think yes, he, he shot did. that too. Quick. It was a great idea to, to do that and move the ten, but I think uh, that. It looks like it's going to be a five-four score. Yeah. So George Rodriguez has caught life again. 
he has. Within one game for the tie. All right, I'm going to step out for a second. You guys uh, take over the controls. Try not to crash, okay? You know, try and keep it in the middle of the road for a uh, couple uh, of minutes. How dare you leave us? I have no choice. <laughs> Mother Nature calls. <laughs> Hope everything comes out all right. <laughs> well, looks like it's going to be a tight match, Nikki. I agree. I agree. I, I said he's not out of the game. I know. I know George, you know, and I, like I said, uh, Sean has uh, been a friend of mine. He's my fellow Lucchese teammate, and uh, George, we've been friends with him for years. He's uh, he's one of my uh, fellow Steinway, you know, roommates, should we say. And um, how are they? Are they friends? Do you know? I don't think there's any animosity between either one of them. Okay. I don't think uh, Sean and I pretty much get uh, gets along with with everyone. Um, there. I don't know if they have too real much of a thing. And no, no, not, you I'm know, saying. Like, uh, oh, do you know if they have a history of uh, playing against each other a lot? Because I really don't know. No, um, I, I can't say that they that they have. Um, Sean isn't uh, doesn't come up to New York uh, very often. Um, some of the other players that, that that are in this tournament, they they've come up to New York uh, for reasons other than playing tournaments. Um, we, you know, they come into town and. And they'll visit the room and things like that. So, they'll, they, you know, sometimes they match up and, uh, you know, so they're here more often than Sean. Sean uh, d is not up here as often. So, no, I don't I don't believe that they've yeah, played very right, much. Yeah, because he's right outside of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. And right. The, uh, he's not far. Yeah, it's just yeah. that he, you know, he's just not up here, you know? Yeah. Well, he makes the one ball after George came up uh, dry on the break. And Mr. Mike is back with us in the booth here. I hope he washed his hands. And um, mission accomplished. <laughs> and uh, it's 5 4, Mikey, like it was before you left. And uh, George came up dry on the break. Yeah, and look, Wilkie with a great opportunity here to get that great game back. Yeah. He left him a good spread. I mean, uh, we don't see anything in the way basically connect the dots as they used to say in the old days it's a cosmo okay, cosmo you can get it done a little bit of a spin shot here to get on the on the six then i would say he has to draw back on the six to put the seven in the corner right. slow down ball good good shot yeah good. even just like a stop shot just to come off the rail give himself a little bit of an angle to go up table mm -hmm. for the eight or even straight in on the eight, whatever he wants to do. You know, you're just gonna pop it off the rail with a teeny bit of right, just a little, just to do that. Very minute. He's got a little bit of an angle. I, I would stop right here. Oh, he doesn't like it for some reason. That's what I, see what I mean about overcomplicating things maybe? Yeah, He's yeah. looking, all he has to do is stop. Stop. All he has to do is stop. I'll have enough clearance to get down and or even roll forward an inch right. or two. And yeah, exactly. really. Right? I don't, but I don't but you're right. He, he's thinking a little bit much about it. But, you know, it is what works for him. works for him. That's perfect. Stopped it perfect. Yeah. It's it's perfect. He didn't have to do anything fancy. Another stop shot here practically. A little bit of draw. Come back a foot maybe. foot and a half. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want the angle. He doesn't even have to come back a foot and a half. He's not going to hit the 10. Comes back about six inches. Six or eight inches is fine. Now he might have to pound this to the to the side rail. He might have enough of an angle he has to go, you know, one rail, which is fine. I don't even think he has to do all that much. No, Mike, he was right. Just a more comfortable shot for him. Yeah, yeah. you can stroke well, he can the let ball. It, yeah, he can let loose on the stroke. You don't have to baby oh. it. You don't have to. Well, it might give him a little confidence back. Now he's gone up 6-4. There you go. Ran the rack. Nice run out from Mr. Wilkie.
Yeah, George doesn't look none too happy about that last break. That last, you know, that last rack he broke open. No. Yeah. Well, nobody's happy when they crack them wide open, make a good spread, and nothing falls. And, right. You know, That's like a gift. Yeah. You know. The level these guys are playing at, you know, it's, it is. Absolutely. So, hey, you, that's I the one. I hope everything comes out all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one lady you can't argue with. Nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know. That's the one lady you can't argue with is Mother Nature. All right. I just want to tell uh, everybody out there that Michael, Bad Stuber, and Snooky and Eddie Medina are doing a great job and getting positive responses and emails from the crowd out there. We'd love to have them in. Why, thank you, folks. Well, what are we doing over here? Yeah, I appreciate the comments. Six, six to, to four. four huh? Yep. George ain't too happy with the way the cue ball rolled out on him. Now is Sean up? Sean's up. Sean six is to up four. Six to four. Oh, okay. Well, Michael's working the booth in the back uh, along with the technical guys. Thanks, Mike. Well, I, you know, I six come on. I'm juggling all sorts of stuff over here. Yeah. Well, let, the, let them handle it. They're in the union. They're that break is over. Yeah, someone else can handle my juggling duties. Let them work in the <laughs> truck. Oh, good Lord. All right, here we go. George Rodriguez, and you notice he's wearing the Gotham City Billiards shirt. When you get a chance, you'll take a nice look at the graphics in the back. Also designed by FA Clothing Line, who happens to sponsor this event. Focused apparel? Um, well, yes. Uh, Yes, and little focus up there. That kid's great. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's kid. great. He's Did you see him parading around with a shirt before? I it was the most adorable thing I've seen. I told seen. him to go to every person in the room and ask them if they would like to purchase an official Steinway Classic shirt. And his father said, if you do that and you sell 10 shirts, I'll give you $100. <laughs> and the kid ran around the room in about 30 seconds with a shirt hanging up in the air. It was so cute. He was flagging it down like a flag. It was so cute. I saw him walk by me before in a little shirt. <laughs> this really it's turning into a nail biter, huh? Back and forth, back and forth, huh? Getting it close. Now, I was talking to somebody up at the front, and they said uh, Sean Wilkie's going to steamroll this. Uh, I don't think they knew who George was. George is a, a really good shooter. In fact, I believe he beat Mike DeShane this morning, too. Yes, he did. Wow, look at that. Wow. That was an automatic. He knew it, too. He, you heard Sean say he knew it. And played it See, anyway. I don't think he had to draw the ball. He drew it back a little bit, and it went right in the side, I think. Trying to hold it a little bit. But Let it go up. Let it go up a little bit. He's still going to have a cut on the two on the side. Or the corner. It looks like it might even go in the corner, too. You know, or exactly, you know. Well, he's, gonna, he's definitely going to soak that in and not make that error again. But were, oh. you here, were you here last year when Dennis uh, and Ralph Becker were playing? And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That's on YouTube. That's going to be a great it. hit. I, you, that's, I that's was sitting right there. there at the rear watching that one. Last Hill Hill, last ball of that match. And unbelievable. He drew it right into the side. It was unbelievable. And all Ralph did was sit in his seat, you know, by the rules. Right. No concession. And that's how it turned out. That was amazing. I, I remember that from us. Yeah, George kind of made a mistake getting this kind of type of position. No need for him to get yeah. right underneath, you know, on top of that nine ball like that. No. He's got a much harder shot now on the five. Yeah, nobody really wants to shoot these angle shots. This doesn't have to go in. But he plays these so well. He's, he plays these shots so well. Beautiful. Ta-da. I mean, I see George play all the time. You know, I'm always here. He's here. You know. Yeah. So. Oh, he plays well. I'm I pretty. I'm pretty uh, confident in knowing what he likes to shoot because I recognize that from him. 
Is that the legendary Devil Dave coming our way? That's who it is. He looks like he's not going to have any kind of problems at all with these last three. He might have got two straight on this eight well, ball. You, you know what? If he can hit this with a little bit of left hand English and wind up right to the other side pocket, that's what he's looking at. I think he can get in there. No? Well, he, like I said, he's a little too straight. Well, he's he, going to hit the eight to the inside of the pocket, so he should be okay. Uh, well, it's a small pocket from that vision, angle. I don't know. Yeah, it's a vision. small pocket from that angle, so he can't cheat it too much. And no matter what he does, because he's really close to that point, uh, you know, well, he's really close to the side pocket. He's got an opportunity to hit it with authority, too, if he wants to just he punch could, it out. He could just stop it right there, cut the nine in one rail, bottom right, and come up past the ten again. Yeah, he could do that. You see what I mean, though, about he's sometimes trying, people, they overthink to, it. They over... Yeah, he, well, he, he, did that. he wants to spin down and shoot the nine to the side, you see? Right. Yeah, but even if he wanted to go, uh, uh, you know, and stay up there, he can still bring it back to pretty much where he has it now. See? And have that Played angle to go and play the corner. Right. Actually, you know, hit it with authority. I, I like down. that he chose this instead. Right. Like Carl now said, it just naturally sends options. it over it like that. So it looks like George is going to close the gap here a little bit. He sure does. Yeah, sure does. Hit a crowd one appreciating game. the great play by these two players. The winner of this will play Warren Kiemko for the hot seat. And just to give you a little idea of what the crowd is starting to turn into, there's VIP, VIP seating, tables, service with food around the whole room, all the way down around the whole main table and up on top of the stage. You got a full bar up the top and people two and three rows deep. And there you see the gentleman with the red shirt, the owner of Universe Clothing walking by. One of the owners. One of. <laughs> George Rodriguez set the break in game 12. Trails by one now. He's closing the gap. I didn't like that. He lost his cue ball. Yeah, he didn't. Uh... George has a powerful break, but, you know, he, uh, this one kind of got away from him a little. Power is one thing, but if, if you can't control it, it's almost a detriment. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if Wilkie has a shot. I don't think he does. It might go past the nine, but that's a tough cut. Check, check. Al's going to step out for a sec. You've left me alone with you? Yeah, he's crazy too, ain't he? Yeah. Nice safe. That was a real good safe because I don't think he can come past the six. No, but he's got two rails and out. Yeah, but that's a tough shot. No. Two rails from there? It's, it's a t small ball. It's a small ball. He's got the long rail too, but I think he's got it. Oh, okay. I the, the eight is in the way. I didn't think he could play the long rail this way. Nice shot. Good hit. Almost ducked him behind the seven. Okay, this could be a break that Wilkie's been looking for. He's been playing real good, but he's been making some mistakes. And this is a good chance for him to put all that past him. I agree. There's nothing really, uh, there's no trouble areas here. The only, the only real trouble is maybe the 8 and 9. But based on where the 7 ball is, and I got ahead of myself, and he overcut the 1. See, I don't think there's no excuse for that. That's that's a blatant miss mm -hmm. on his part. Mm -hmm. He's got a wide open table. I don't know if he rushed it, uh, if he misjudged it, uh, but. I oh, was starting to see some uh, some missing going on here. Un uncharacteristic missing from Wilkie. 
rocket launcher. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to do on this shot. If he's going to call it, you know, bank it, cross side. He's got he's got nothing. I I don't, I don't like him calling it any really, but right. That's what I was going to say. Was not a, we got a seven blocker. I mean, he for, it's for that. He wouldn't have had nothing he on the two. Right. Exactly. And then the risk, of course, would be this. Right. If he had left this after calling a shot, then George would just return it. You know? Yeah, it was a very good shot. Puts George in a tough spot. George might have to play this two rails. Yeah, he's going to have to draw it if he plays this way one rail past the seven. The tough spot. He might jump at it. I think so. I think so. If he jumps at this, I like him playing a safe, not playing a combo. Right. You know, he, he can't call. He's got to call a safety. But I think he's going to try and draw it. Well, let's see what he calls. I don't know. He's going to get the jump cue right now. Yeah, I think it's something he doesn't want to do, but he has no choice. And you just have to play a safe. You might be able to get him stuck behind a nine. You know, if everything works out just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it worked yeah, out real well for him. Yeah, that worked out real well. He was rewarded. He's got to play the high side of the one like he's doing, but he's looking at that 10. He called a 10. Again, I don't like this. No. Players in the World's Baseball Championship, if you want to practice in the back tables towards the middle and the back of the room, the practice is free for players that are in the World's Baseball Championships. Players being on being about uh, an hour at 8 p.m. He's got to make sure he hits it and then just gets, he's going to be left with what he, you know, with whatever he leaves him. Mm -hmm. He's got to just take his chances, but he's got to come off the top side. If he comes off the bottom side or the left side, rather, he can scratch right in the side, right in the corner pocket. Uh, he played that good, but he looks like he left Georgia cutting the side and he'll be able to get on the two. I guess he figured, I mean, he was playing safe 100%, but just in case the 10 went. Right. He called the 10. Doesn't have to leave and Georgia shot. He makes shot. he looks like a hero, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, percentages. I mean, you know, like, that's that's what I mean about them, th this format. It's just it eliminates the uh, two-way shot. Yeah, well, it, you get a better, a better game out of it. If he hits a nine, he's in trouble. Mm. There you go. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he, he didn't think about the path or the cue ball. And now, now he's in, he's in a little bit of trouble right here. So what he's going to do? He's going to roll the nine up onto the four. It looks like, or onto the seven, or even just roll it over to the eight, block the eight. You know, so he's got to do something. If he doesn't think he can hit it, I think that's a smart move. I mean, he's thinking he can hit this. Oh, he's trying to spin behind a nine. Oh, I don't like that. I, I don't like that either. I'd rather shoot two rails. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm going to try to hit it that way, I'm going to try to hit two rails. What's what I mean? I agree. Or even deep three. You can do three, you know, too. It's but possible. But like I said, but it's, I mean, another good opportunity would be to just roll the nine up onto the eight. And tie something or up. The, exactly. Or roll it up onto the four. But you're going to give him ball in hand with the stuff right here. With the cluster. You're looking at hit, another, another safe. Another safe. Well, Absolutely. That's just it. Sometimes you got no choice. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're better off the yeah, worst of two evils. I think, the he's, I think evils. he's looking at the two or three rail kick or something. He's, uh, Sean's calling over uh, a hit call. Yeah, he wants to, he wants oh, someone okay. to watch. Uh, absolutely. Right. No, we need a tournament director. We need a tournament director for a hit call. Finnegan had to get up out of his uh, massage chair. <laughs> oh, he's been working hard. Yeah. 
Working hard or hardly working? I didn't say that. You said it. Huh? All right. Oh, we're talking about Benny. All right, so he is going He's going to have to shorten it. He's going to have to shorten it. Yeah, look, he hit it no, perfect. Good hit, good hit. Perfect. All right. good he hit. left him a, a, a shot, but the guy didn't give him ball in hand. Right, but right. Pays to hit it's, him. It's almost like ball in hand, though, but, you know, at least he hit it. And he's not on one. You understand? No, what do you mean by that? I don't quite understand. Uh, no comprende? No comprendo? All right, now Wilkie's got a good chance to get out. Stay focused. See, a shot like this, he just has to roll it in the side. Mm -hmm. No need going up and down. There you go. Ooh, he used the edge of that pocket. <laughs> you, you talking scratch and sniff now? What are you rubbing? I'm what? not, I am not doing any no, no, no. What are you doing? thing of a sort. Uh, I got that. I got that. All right. Well, we'll see what Wilkie's up to. He's got to get out here. He's got to get his confidence back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, George is uh, hanging with him. You know what I mean? Well, so, so Wilkie's so given like him the chance to hang with him. Yes. I understand that. But, you know. You know not, not okay, you negative you against your it. boy. They're both my boys. You know, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Definitely, they're both my boys. Granted, I don't see Sean all the time, but you know, it's not just a Lukasi thing, you know what I mean? It's right. not, not just because of that. I walked in yesterday, I realized we both have the same case. <laughs> no, you and George? Me and Sean. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Wilkie's definitely going to take this game. He's going to get back that two-game lead. Over George. It's a bit nippy in here now. You can say that again. It's a b-b-b-b-b-nippy. <laughs> Nippy or two. They got the AC going. They got the AC cranking. Well, there's just so many people in here. It's a, if he didn't have it, then it'd be kind of. Oh, it'd be a sweat itchy. fest. Yeah, it'd be a sweat sticky, fest. damp sweat fest. Listen, breath mint. All right. What did I miss? Not much. You guys getting along okay? A little, a little bit, a little bit. Taking care of my girl over here. Yeah, as long as she doesn't <laughs> run out of breath mints, I'll be fine. Do you want me? Do you want a breath mint? I'll no, I'm good. I'm okay. good. I'm good. I'm about to hit my own breath mint. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, if you scratch right in the side, that's unfortunate. The cue ball went three rails and around a table and right in the side pocket. Every time he gets a chance to get up, he, he you know, he's. Bad roll, bad miss, unfortunate scratch on the break there. He's he's allowing George. I love. I, I'll be honest with you, Snooky. Yeah, I love these mints. You got to tell me where to get them. The Altoids. Oh oh. And cinnamon flavor. Great. You can get them at the Altoid store. See, he didn't want one, but I'm making him take one. See that? I'm trying to be polite. Well. Whatever. I think he needs one because you know. You have a few. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are making me run out here. <laughs> I'll give you a nickel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you get, like 400 of them in a the, in the little tin? <laughs> <laughs> I got the, the, the I didn't travel. Realize. I got the tiny travel size. I didn't one. realize your breath was that bad. You needed all of them. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. George is on his way out here. Snooky's got a case of the Zachalies. Say what? I said you got a case of the Zachalies. What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> he's speaking his speaking own gibberish now. He's speaking like, yeah, a, I, like it's, a, it's not a even a foreign language, like a universal foreign language. Do, I'll, do I'll not, tell you later. Compute. I'll tell you later what do, that do, means. Do not compute. 
I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> well, well uh, but knowing Mikey, it's trust good me, one. there's something it, to it. It's you know? a good one. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at for saying it. A hey, down boy. Stop breathing. Why are you so breathing so heavy in there? I want to tell my joke. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's, he's like festering <laughs> over it. He's like, <laughs> I want to tell my he's joke. He's like an angry bull. He, he wants us to ask him so bad, and since I we're know, not feeding into it, you know. No, you guys already <laughs> mentioned it. I, can, I just wanted to let the punchline out so everyone else knows what I'm talking about. No, we don't. Even though you guys didn't hear about it. What did you call him? Zachalies? Zachalies. 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 Okay. All right, we're watching George. He's going to win this. I'm going to spill the beans in a second. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, then we're going on well, It's pay-per-view, so we can. I can get away with it. So that doesn't mean that young, innocent people are not watching. Parents could have bought this for their kids. That's good. So yeah. behave yourself. All right, I'll behave. All right, George gets a game back. He's trailing Wilkie 6-7, to seven, race to 9. Okay, let me just say that Mike has uh, uh, given us his definition of Zachalies. Well, the Zachalies, baby. And, 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 and I'm going to have to agree. I, I can, I can, I can agree dissect it in one word. I, Stupid. Well, thank you. <laughs> however. That wasn't funny? However. That was good, huh? The, his, Stupidly his, funny. That's his, why I said stupid. <laughs> his definition was exactly <laughs> what it should belong to him, okay? What what description he gave to us. Okay, I'm glad that did not go over there. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I got to admit, Mike, I got to use that one. I mean, it oh, was you're pretty gonna. good. Yeah, it's, it's a good it's one. Good. <laughs> it's a good one, man. Uh, he still can't stop laughing. You know he was describing himself. This is <laughs> <laughs> It fits no. everyone's description. Let, Not mine. Let me tell you how well I know him. He uh. didn't create that one. Somebody pulled that one on him, and now he's using it on us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as long as it's all on him. Uh, okay. I might have got some on me. Oh, my. It's on me, all right. All right, Wilkie's got a shot here. He's got to do something. He's looking for a push. He's looking to get on the hill. Yeah, well... I'm not huffing and puffing. The mic just a little too close to my mouth, so you can hear me breathing. Apparently, the microphone, not a lollipop. How many how many licks does it take to get to the center well, of a lollipop? Did we we covered that already, didn't we? Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you something. Like uh, I have to agree with Snooky on this one. Man. Seriously, you seem to be a heavy breather. I don't know. It's the microphone. Oh, sure. Well, he's Come got on, the mic man. in his nose practically. I do not. Well, you did. I've had to pull that thing away from you a couple of times. It's my friend. <laughs> Do you think he's got a couple of issues going on a there? A couple? Really? <laughs> he's got a library full. Makes me who I am. <coughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. I think my ear my ears bleeding. <laughs> my, my eardrums <laughs> Oh, Lord, oh, man, I can't hear nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, George. George. Vibe. <laughs> you know there's a mute button for that. <laughs> Sean pushed out. George tried to play it safe, but it, the one came into the seven. Got Sean against the rail. Sean's going to take the shot. Come on, folks. We've we'll be right match. back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We had a little technical difficulty with the booth there. Wilkie puts down 
the one. He's got a good shot on the, three, on the two. Three's tied up with the eight. If he wants to be aggressive, I think he can go for this. He can go for breaking out the three right there. Oh, my gosh. My eyes are tearing. <laughs> little little center, bottom English, right? Uh, yeah, bot bottom left. Bottom He's got to play a little bottom left. Ooh, he just didn't want it to go in. Yeah. But, again, he's still got a good shot on the four. Oh, it was a four and, eight, uh, four and three. All right, that worked out. He still got a shot. Yeah, he's got a thin four down the rail and come off the side rail to try to get down to the five. See what he's going to do here. Oh, he's right, he played play safe. safe. That's a great shot. All great blockers. shot. Got all them blockers, and he came up behind him perfectly. Oh, oh he might have left, 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 left the window. Oh, did he? He might have left the window. And, and, uh, yeah, he looks a little dejected. Yeah, yeah we, he can't, can't believe. We he can't, can't really believe. see in this angle, but. Let's see what George is looking at. You know what? Fine, let George see it from here. What's he going to do? Uh, cross bank this? Not a chance. Not in the corner, I mean a safe. I'm gonna try to stick the cube up. Oh, he, did, did oh, he, try he actually cross? got actually aggressive tried. and went for it. See, I like him doing that, but playing safe and bringing the cube off. He did thinner than that instead of that foot. No matter what he did, it was a difficult lead. Oh, yeah, you know absolutely. What I'm saying? But he got aggressive to try to make it. I would have been a little defensive and try to hook him. Not what do you What do you think Sean's going to do here, Mike? He's going to play high right. Play he's high right. Come. He's got natural. Well, not natural. I mean, not natural. I mean, he's got to he's got to put some. If on. the eight wasn't there and he can control the cue ball better, you know, with the bridge instead of being jacked up a little bit, it'd be so much easier of a shot. I think he can play this with a right hand spin, like a, yeah, a little he's gonna high hit right, like first diamond and out, or diamond and a half. He's afraid and of coming into the eight. Out. He's afraid, afraid of coming, coming into the eight and nine. Of course, but he it. wants to avoid it. He wants to get to the long rail on the left side. Right. Uh, to to get on the position for the five. Right. See, he'd be able to do that much easier if the eight wasn't there, so he can cue the cue ball better. Right. You know, he might be stuck. He might be jacked up a little bit. He right. might be hitting down a little bit on the cue ball. See, one diamond. And he half played it with inside. You know, it. If he gets through that eight ten. Which he and he perfectly. did. Wow, wow, what a shot. He was rewarded for that one. It comes up for the seven. Oh, the six is in the side. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't see the six in the side. You're watching the same table? Yeah. It's just that, you know, being around Mike, it kind of <laughs> things rub off. you got to watch more than the table when I'm around. Oh, my God. you got to pay attention to everything. Oh, you shall. All right. Does that eight go? Mikey, Looks like the eight goes, right? Do you remember the Ranger Andy show? <laughs> no. Well, that's way before my time. You're dating yourself, pal. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm, oof. You're way out of my time zone. <laughs> now, did he overdrew it? Or does it go by the 10? Might not, it must like not it go goes, past. It goes by the 10. Did he the way overdrew it? Yeah. Did he overdraw it? it? Overdrew. Overdrawed. Potato, potato. Mm, okay. It must not go past the 9. Unless I'm it was too difficult of a shot to get pinpoint where he needed. He just drew back to play the 8 in that same pocket. I don't think it goes. Well, we'll know what. I don't if see. Uh, I, I just seen him oh, he's gonna making play it sure safe, it, it has to go because he doesn't no, have. It doesn't have to go. No, excuse me. It's possible to go. What I'm saying is that he doesn't have a look of disgust on his face. He looks like he's just making sure he's aiming that ball right. You know what I mean? Like his body language s shows that it can be made. That it can be made. No, I think it was way too tight. It could be made, yes, but okay, only so only one oh, we're percentage. We're talking about fractions. We're talking oh, fractions. Yeah, very very. Like he didn't. He two percent chance of making it. Had he it. had he not had the pocket at all, then you could have told. Could you be able to tell by his body language? Now, when he came back and looked twice to aim, that means it it could have went. That's what I'm trying to say. Not that. 
Don't yeah, I mean, listen. George don't, don't had the nitpick. George had the look of disgust I'm, I'm on his face because hairs. he can't he can't give this back to, to Sean no. because you know Sean could possibly snooker him on this shot. Yeah, it's a tough shot. Oh, he's going to give it back to him. He doesn't have a choice, but it's only because it's hard to snooker him from here. It's not easy. True. That's why he's going to give him. But I think he's going to put a lot of inside English on it. Leave it thin and bring the cue ball. Try to bring it big behind the nine or something. Right, but now instead of George trying to do that, it's like you know what? Let him try that. Let him try to get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's forcing the action. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna get aggressive? And try to bank the spot? Yeah, yeah, he's called he's it. He's called it. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. Again, if he makes it, he looks like the hero. I and mean, it will be an uproar. Well, you know what, Mike? Maybe he just feels that the shot, you know, the safety is too difficult and he's got to take a shot. Well, then there, there are times where the risk is worth for that reward. I don't like it. I, Oh, I don't like it either. You know what he can do? He can play one rail even off the long rail and kick at the eight that way. Well, yeah. You know, he could leave himself stuck behind the ten. He could kick it in off the nine. He can get the nine involved, maybe block him with the eight. Well. Yeah, I agree. He's got a lot more options than <coughs> banking it. But like, but I mean. like Snooky says, if he makes a shot, it makes him look great. Right. You but know, well, I mean, he, he doesn't want to look great. He wants to make the ball. But what I'm saying is that uh, with a, a shot as delicate as this, shooting the safe might be harder than trying to go for that bank so even though the bank is really hard at this with this angle and whatever it's for him it's worth it trying to make that ball rather than to play that tough safe that's all i'm saying yeah I mean, i'm not i'm not saying no, i can agree with you there i'm not saying yay or nay that it's the right or wrong shot it's just that you know i'm just clarifying why he might choose to do that so he banked it short uh, he might have got lucky. I don't know. I think I George think can I thin, thin, thin this into the side pocket. No, I, mean, I can't I make it inside. I but think we got a thin mint here. I think he can cut this inside. You think? I wouldn't yeah, play it inside. He's going to play in the corner. I said, are you, you are Nick picking. Well, I said he, he could. No, he can't, though. He can't play it inside. I said he could. I didn't say he would. I said he could. No, but he couldn't, though. It was too far down. I'm, I could see it from here. Like, I can see the table from here. And the eight's too far down past the Am side. Am I behind a wall that I... Well, you're behind the guy's head and the TV screen. So I was looking directly... you want me to lop his head off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, George got a game back. Well, we got a nail biter here, ladies and gentlemen. Ties seven, up the score, seven. seven apiece. And don't go nowhere because I believe immediately after this, we're going to have the hot seat match. The winner of this facing Warren Camp. This is getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. Yep, I looked at the chart. We still have uh, Mike Davis left on the loser's bracket. Did uh, he, he just win his match? He, he beat uh, John Moore. Okay. Beat him 9-6. And um, and Dennis Hatch. Are they, are they the only four? Well, the, and then the so, final five. So Dennis Hatch. Plays more. The, 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 no, the loser of this. I believe plays Mike Davis, and the winner of that match plays Dennis Hatch for the hot seat match on the losers bracket. Okay. 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 Well, we'll see what's going on here. And then the loser of the hot seat match plays, plays the winner. That plays the right. All right, let's see if George can get a good breakdown. Ten ball goes he right in. He took a little off that break now. Little that, that powerful break. He's got a powerful break, but he took, he, he let loose, uh, I'm sorry, he took some back on that one, and he got rewarded and made a ten ball on the break. He's going to come back up. Because his break before was not giving yeah, him what he, exactly. he wanted. And he's got a pretty good took layout a here took to, a off. to, take he does. to, to he, try to get on the hill. He has a real good layout. This is pretty much natural back towards the center of the table. Don't go too soft, maybe. No, he's got just enough. He just made it past it. 
That was a creepy roll. <laughs> yeah, that could have held up, you know. Yeah. Put the brakes on real quick and got him behind the eight. Look, it started to slow down early. I saw him. He can do anything with this three ball he wants. Yeah. Just get on. He's really. going to come forward, I think, three rails. Easier shot. Follow that, it right nothing's, out. Nothing's Natural in the way, exactly. Yeah. A little bit of left-hand spin. He'll get perfect on the four. Perfect. Wherever it lands, he's got a shot. Exactly. He'll get perfect on the five. Six is hanging. Seven's hanging. Yeah, he's just going to stun that over a little. Boink. You don't want to be straight. You don't want to be dead straight, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got enough of an angle to follow it up. He's got a little bit of an angle there. Yeah, yeah but, but I, he still didn't want to be that. No, straight. he didn't want to be there. He's no, not going to he get off the rail far more. enough. He's going to leave himself straight in on the six, too, almost. He could punch it out, too. But he definitely didn't want to be there. He's going to go forward. He's going to have no choice he's but to got, go yeah, forward. I like going no forward because he's still got a, a shot no matter what. Just gonna leave himself longer than he'd like. Longer than he likes with the wrong angle on the six. Right. Now he might be able to go forward. I can't tell if he's straight. If he's dead straight, it's a very bad shot. I don't think he's dead straight. He played himself out of position here. Yeah, he's looking. He's he's almost straight though. I don't think he's dead straight, but he. Well, I think if he follows it out, he'll get a better result than actually if, putting draw. If draw he can, and draw yeah, it off if, exactly. he can, right. if he can, he might he might be able to. to, to I don't know. No, he's drawing. He's, draw he's drawing. He's going to want to punch it out. Yeah, and I don't that's, like that. That's it. He was uh, dead straight on hey, it. He was Bangs the table with his stick. He still got a good shot of kicking it in. Yeah, but, yeah, but who wants that? Absolutely. You know? He's, he's Absolutely. dejected now. He's yeah. Who wants that? And he's got a block of the tennis like in the way. Yeah. And you can hear how disappointed he is with that. I don't know if the ten's in the way. It, it might be. I think he's slightly in the way. He, if he does, he has to hit a little uh, left hand. It's a little bit in the way, Mike, of the natural where he the wants to where tangent. he wants to spin. He wants to spin that cue ball just a hair to get to the seven, so he can get a shot on the eight. He doesn't want to spin it to where it follows. The well, seven remember right the seven into the is not pocket. exactly in front of yeah. the. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. It's favoring our side, uh, the view. Um, the bottom portion of the side pocket. So the natural line of a, of his uh, bank or kick rather. I think the 10 is in the way a little. Well, let's see what he does here. Perfect. Oh. oh. Oof. I thought he hit that perfect. I thought he that. Did, was, I thought that. I mean, I thought it was in. He hit it nice. He hit it perfect. He hit but it the, nice. The, the, the thing was that you know uh, he knows he blew a chance to go on the hill. Oh, this could, yeah, this he could blew hurt a big, big time. Especially if Wilkie runs this out and gets and makes a couple of balls or a ball on the break with a good layout. Good shot. He didn't try and get down for the side pocket. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. He did what the table told him to do. He accepted it, and he's going to be rewarded for. He, oh, he speaks table too. Yes, he does. I taught him that. Taught him. We've been working together for years. Every time he comes up, we we hash it out in the basement. Every time he every time he comes up, he Mike says, "Honey, well, he's coming. Forget the groceries. We got pizza." <laughs> <laughs> you guys are silly. All right, putting Sean on the hill. Yes. Well, that's what keeps Mike so slim and trim. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep my girlish figure. Well, you, you notice when I said that, he sucked it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stomach is touching his spinal cord now. <laughs> Nothing touches my spinal cord. <laughs> I get wrapped in... The don't cloak there, of drugs don't, don't. and pills that I have to take. Well, let's see if Wilkie can close this out. I mean, George definitely gave him the opening. But as it's gone all match, 
when we think one guy's going to close something out, the other guy does something to let him back in the exactly. match or he gets a bad roll yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Just don't lose control of the cue ball. Take what you get. I want to see Hill Hill. Just because of the excitement of it. But. Well, let's see. No, I mean, you know, if Grady closes it out, obviously. But, you I know, mean, he just pockets the, the one. He pockets shot. the one. Let's see if he's got a shot, shot on the he's two. He's got a shot on the two. The two. The two. I was going to say the <laughs> deuce. <laughs> Did you get the two? The two. The two. Dude, Mikey, you're full of a new, new language today. I'm going to make my own <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> the two. What is this? Uh, tennis? Deuce. The deuce, baby. But we'll see. I mean, he's going to play a stop shot. He's going to have to come three rails. He's got a lot of congestion. He's going to have to take a decongestant before he shoots this shot. Clear the passageways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, that's what he's doing. You see him wipe the table? Mm-hmm. He's going to... Uh, I don't know. I think if he hits his shot, uh, he's just going to stop it. If he, if he hits his shot, if he stops it real good, he's got a good chance of running out. As long as he doesn't hit the six when he plays the three. He's got a small window to get between a nine and a six. Right. First thing he's got to do is put down a two. got the four up top. You know what he did? He drifted forward a little bit on the two. He gave himself a bad angle, a worse angle on the three. He's going to try and bank it. He's going to try and cross bank the three. See, because he doesn't have the angle now. If he was another three or four inches up closer to the six, he'd have a better angle to get around the table on the three. Now he's going to try and cross the three. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't either, but he's called it. But you know what? I mean, what are, what are his options? Uh, Mike, what do you see? Safe. Yeah, he can save. But again, you don't want to. You want to keep I know, running. Of course you, you don't play, want you know? to, especially since, you, you know, you've been in this match and you know that your opponent's been, uh, you know, coming, firing back at you too, so... Uh, you know, you, you you like to be aggressive. You know what he can do. Power draw at the three. All right, let's get look, it look, on look, him. that's. He said it's get it on him. That's the risk you take. It, it is. But and you if you had played it safe, it would have probably got you back at the table with a favorable shot, too. But you know something? I think he lucked out on the roll. A little bit. Because he it's little a bit shot that he has George, to George right. can't turn down the shot. He could, but he but he won't. Of course not. Why and, would he? And, and to safe on this shot is pretty tough. No, he's well, just he's gonna, gonna roll play. it. He's gonna roll it. He's, he's gonna, gonna roll, roll it. it. He's gonna roll it past the uh, six. He's gonna he's gonna bank the three right. towards the ten and come one or two rails and get him by a nine. Okay. George can be quite aggressive too. He might shoot the shot. Not a chance. Where's he gonna shoot it? Inside. No, what? I'm no. just saying he can be quite aggressive. It, that it, that would be a mistake. You see? Well, yes, I rails. didn't say it was right. It's just that I know he, he can be quite aggressive. Oh, well, we're right. going airborne. No. Yeah. If, yep. he, if he had that three uh. ball, another half roll out, you understand? Yeah. Then, then I would have seen him shooting that. The way it lied there, probably not. Going airborne and knowing Sean, he's going to call the corner pocket yep. what he just did. Yeah, all he has to do is just make this, you know, just focus on making the ball. Good hit. If it goes in, it goes in. He's going to have natural shape on the floor. Just get up over that ball. Smooth stroke. We'll see if it goes in. Let's see if we can get that angle. 
Let's uh, switch cameras for a second and watch him jump this. You want to watch the jump shot from the side here? Yeah, why not? See, he That's just it. gets up and punched it. Yeah, I didn't like that. Didn't like the execution. Right. Like, he took well, his time to aim and, and knew what three, he yeah. wanted uh, to do, the, but does when the three he fit in the shot. corner? Yeah, it looks like it fits, but he's going to draw it. The side pocket's big. I don't think he can hold it above the side. He's gonna, uh, oh, what a mistake that was. Well, we'll see what happens with well, the lead. No, well, he's left know, him the, com uh, he's left him the combo. combination. Easy yeah. shot to get out. Well, he's jacked and, up and, over and, the and eight. An unforced error here is the, it will get George back on the on the table, but uh, yeah, but he's like I said, he's jacked up over the eight. Right. Much more difficult shot. But he's got about three inches, two and a half between them. He's got a shot. You see what I mean? Oh yeah. He's not, yeah. Bad. He's not bad. Look, I said an unforced error would get George back on the table. Wow. And again, he kind of like r rushed it a little bit. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You he came tell. to the yeah, table real yeah. quick instead of actually yeah. taking, that's, taking that's his time and bearing that's down. That's two on, shots on, in a on, row on he did that. Yeah. Yeah. That he didn't take his time. You know what I mean? Like the jump shot. He took his time yeah. to aim what he wanted to do, but his execution just went and tried to pop it right away. He's been making a couple of mistakes, so maybe his nerves are getting the best of him right now. Well, like I said, it's, it's a, you know, he's on his coattails. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like it's a gigantic lead. He's on the hill and he's parlaying. No, it, you know, he lost his confidence. One or two bad mistakes, you know, bad shots, error, judgment error, mistake. I don't think he lost his confidence. I just think that he, he just he dogged un it. unfortunate he things dogged have it happened. He dogged what he did. Oh, I didn't say that. You no, I, it, but, you know. It <laughs> I, I got to call it like I see it, you know. And I hear you. I just have a, a different. Oh. Different. He's going to cut the side. You can see that? Yeah. All right. he's yeah, he's got more than enough room. Yeah, he's got to yeah, watch out for the side pocket. Yeah, as long as he comes up clean between that 7 and the 10 ball, he'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, but that's where the no, risk is. No, the risk is, yeah, this is not a good shot. He's got a small window. If you look between the side pocket and the and 8, the, yeah. he's got a small window to get in there. From here, it looks like it's a little more, little more difficult. See? Look at look 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 how dangerous that is. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Said it was dangerous. Yeah, but uh, fortunately for him he can see the four and he can run out. Well, he's gotta watch out because he can overhit this one and get bad shape on the five. He got perfect. No, he got bad shape on the five. I don't think so. His bridge hand's gonna be in the way of the ten. And the ten's gonna be in the way. He's got more space than you think. Yeah, he's but he's on the wrong. I think he's I know he's I on the wrong side, though, of the of the five. You know what I mean? He's going to be drawing closer towards <coughs> the seven. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He might have to power it back to the end rail. Oh, all right, See, he, he was straighter it, in. I, I thought he had a little bit I more of an angle. I think he was good. I thought he was good. Yeah, he can just stop this right here if he has to. No need to do nothing fancy. He'll have an angle. He'll come one rail for the 10. Got what you wanted. Hill, hill well, uh, it's it's only the the fanatics. You know what I mean. You know that they want to see the same thing. It's I said it would be nice. You know whatever. But. Yeah, well that's a home the hometown boy right there. You know this well, is the room favorite. Now let's see. After going tit for tat all match yeah, long, let's see. Let's see if it serves true. Yeah. Right. And. George makes an unforced error on the break or something. Who knows? I mean, that's the way this match is going. Yeah. All right. 
Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than this. Hill Hill Thriller. To get in the final. Everyone is packed to in get this in corner. Hot seat. Yeah. Everyone packed to get into the in hot seat match with the Filipino nation waiting for him. All right. We'll see what George can do with the break. He's got to lay down I, a good one. I think one. He, he's, he's not going to go for the gusto. He's going to calm down break. a bit. I think he's going to take a little off. I think so. Because it worked for him before. See? Yeah. He took held a back bit a off. little. He took a little off, and it worked for him before. He did not make a ball on the break. And he, he left Wilkie a shot. Yeah. Now, see only because it worked for him before that he when he took when he finally took something off that it, that he he made a he pocketed the ball you know. Wilkie does have a shot. Plus, you you know you don't want to. Does risk have a shot and it's scratching. It's not a tough layout, but it's a tough layout. The only the tough part is getting on the two right now. Right. He's got to put a lot of inside English on it, but he might not be able to get enough to spin up above the seven. See, that's what he's looking at. He can't get enough to get above the seven. A lot of Hill Hill matches on this table yesterday and today. Oh, well, honestly. Uh, oh, yesterday mainly. Uh, Snooky. Snooky. <laughs> We've seen, hasn't it been like that all tournament long? A lot of Hill Hill matches, 9-7 matches. On this, nine, on this matches. table yesterday, yeah. it was like that. A lot. I think we had like three matches back to back like that. Yeah, Hill the Hill only runaway right today was when... Um, I don't Mike, like Mike DeShane lost to uh, Dennis Hatch. I don't like what he's doing. What do you? What? What is he doing? He's going to try and come three rails between the three and four. He needs more of an angle for it to be an easier shot. If he can maybe come between the three and six, he might still be able to see it. Otherwise, he's got to hit it hard enough. He's got to make sure he hits the three if, if he goes. goes into it. Well, wow. He got too far into the corner. It was too much. It used too much to analyze to get so perfect. I mean, too much to ask for. Yeah. Well, now he's got to go airborne, I guess, because I know he's not going to kick at it. No, he's not. He's going to jump. Well, that, that's, that's my statement, though. You can't ask Santa Claus for too much. You get nothing, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you don't have to ask Santa. You can ask somebody else. <laughs> How about be independent and get it yourself? <laughs> You're taking the fun out of the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> All right, now we'll see what he can do. Do you, do you play to make this? Do you play to I don't, hit it I don't play think safe? He, I, I don't think he's got an option. I think it goes if he hits it right. Yeah, so but uh, yeah. can he get on a three? Is he going to get... Uh, well. He's got a uh, he's got a fuller two than we can see on the screen because I'm looking up. Is he going to drift behind the seven? No, I don't think. You so. know what I'm saying? What type of angle is he going to have? Yeah. Well, I, I I mean I I'm looking at the actual table. I can actually see, you know, what two he has. He doesn't have the same two he sh we're showing on s we can see on screen, so he can see a, a full two. Yeah, I think if he pockets the two off this jump, he's going to get natural position for the three. Well, it depends on how he hits it. How he hits it. He, you know. Yeah. See what I mean? I yeah. said he had a fuller two. Yeah. You, know, you notice, though, he did that again. He just got up and he jabbed at it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Uh, it yeah. worked out well, but I'm not crazy well, about that. Well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, Mike. If he does one of these one of these quick shots again in the in in this in this. Uh, game here. Might cost him. Might cost him, absolutely. He's pretty good right now. The three is a long shot straight in. He'll be on the four. The five goes by the eight, it looks like. Six is right there. Once, If he can get on the five, I'm going to predict uh, he should be able to get out. But he's got to get on the five. Do you remember when Celine Dion was, uh, not Celine, not Celine Dion, uh, what's her face? Oh my god. When uh, they were doing the Psychic Friends Network, are you going to work doing that, or do you want to predict things? Psychic Friends. I think I remember that. You kind of remember that. I don't have to remember. I never watched that junk. I, it, it was an infomercial. The Psychic Friends. What? Well, do you, now you know. Well, you called it, Mike. I 
think he's just going to go a little forward with this five so he can actually put the six in his side. He might not. He might decide to draw it back just a touch only because if he does roll forward, the eight's in the way almost. You know what I'm saying? If the eight wasn't there, he'd have no problem going forward. But yeah, now he I might put it. something in his head like, oh, I, better, I better be careful. Yeah. Well. He just has to stop this almost. Just a yeah. stop shot. Let's see what he's going to do here. Oh, he resets himself. Waiting for the waitress to walk past. See? That's what he does. Good, good call, Mike. He stopped it. He's gonna just takes the eight completely out of the equation. Out of the equation. He's got to get a little angle to and avoid the side pocket, not over hit the six. Now he can do the same thing here. Just play a stop shot. Uh, you don't need to go into the rail. I don't think here. Even just draw it a little bit. Just a little bit. Almost like a stop shot. He, drew he it. does. He drew it. So he wants a little, I think he wants, he, he might really have more wants angle. to get a little bit closer to that eight. He doesn't want that eight like a long. Well, I got news for you now. I think now he's got to play two rails. Mm. He's a little farther up table than he wanted to be. He's got to play two rails across the table. Because it's, it's too, too shallow for him to just hold. Came out pretty good. Yeah, he, he can stop. He, he can stop. Like stop wanted. right there. He'll have a little angle on a nine. Draw it up past the ten and be done. Or if he can, if he wants to, just draw it back four or five inches now. Play the nine. Roll, roll, roll the nine straight in. Play the ten up table. I like stopping it right there. Like that, 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 right that's that's what he's. Yeah, but that's what he's looking at. He's looking at playing the ten up table. Right. That's what I mean. You know that. that you know he wants the simplest out. He doesn't want to have to think too too much on this. He can still even roll this forward, one rail. You know, just off the rail. I like drawing it though. I'll be honest with you. Let's see what he does. No. Nope. Just wants a straight shot into the corner pocket. Good enough. Taking his time, he's going to compose himself. Nope. Most important match, of the, uh, most important shot of the match, right here. It's like my teammate is going to take the W. It does. There you wow. go, Sean Wilkie, nail biter over Could George Rodriguez to get in that, the finals on the winner's side. And don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. No, we'll be right we'll, back. We'll be right back with Warren Kiamko and Sean Wilkie. All right, folks, just to bring you up to date, we're going to have a delay be before the hot seat match. So we're probably going to have an hour delay, but this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to, what they wanted to do was have the World 14.1 players meeting in the back of the pool room. So instead of that taking place, we're going to have the 14.1 World Players Meeting right here on the live stream table. We'll pan the room. All the players are here. And they're also going to have the players auction for the 14.1 Worlds. And then we'll go ahead and we'll have our hot seat match. Hold on, folks. There seems to be some kind of line of communication confusions here because the winner of that match does not play uh, Warren Kiemko like we were told. Mike Davis has to play George Rodriguez, and then the winner of that plays Warren Kiemko. But they're thinking about delaying this game because they have the players meeting for the 14.1 Worlds. So we're going to have a delay, and then we'll have the whole 14.1 players meeting here and then they'll go into the player's auction right here on camera. Instead of being off camera in the back of the room, at least somebody has something to watch. Uh, the tournament director, William Finnegan, right now is discussing it with Mike Davis. And uh, Tony Robles agreed on it, and so did Dragon Promotions.
so they're discussing it with Mike Davis right now, getting his input on it. We're figuring it out at the 12th hour, the 11th hour, so to say. So I'll keep you updated. I, I'm just getting information here and there. We'll, uh, we'll pan the room, but uh, we want to close this on my end, and uh, we'll stay in live. 